Good evening, folks, and welcome to Random Number Generation. This is episode 33, the Movem 6 preview. Forbidden Memories 5-card mod with Pi and Spike before we get started. Information on all of our hotfix shows is available at gamestonequick.com slash hotfix. From there, you can find out more information about submitting your runs to any of our weekly shows. If you are watching on YouTube, first of all, hey, nice to see you here, YouTube, and would like to support our live content, please consider checking out our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gdq. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to any Twitch channel of your choice every month for free. Please consider using your Prime Gaming account to subscribe to the GDQ Twitch channel. And with that, Pi and Spike, how are you doing? It's nice to have you both here. Woo! Thank you for having us on again. This is uh, this is a blast getting to come on for your show, Sky. So uh, we're happy to promote our event coming up here in a week, MoMAM 6. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I'm uh, sorry. Got a squeaky chair or something going on yeah. over my side. <laughs> my chair is excited about being here yeah. and talking about MoMAM. It's just ready to go. <laughs> and as always, if you want to read about MoMAM, exclamation point RNG will give you the link not only to the schedule and everything that MoMAM's ever been about, because if you didn't know, there's been five MoMAMs before this, but there's also going to be a little form at the end of that for predictions. And we'll talk about what those predictions are for as we do the show. We do have a four hour show plan. We're going to see if we can save Egypt with this five card mod. So if you all want to talk for a second about what MoMAM is really quickly, and then we'll start the timer. We'll continue to talk about what Woman 6 is. Yes, but you talk about it. You're good with words. Sure, yeah. So <laughs> MoMAM stands for Month of Mushrooms and Mayhem. Uh, and the six stands for six because it is the sixth time we have done this. Every March, Pi and I were super into college basketball. So we thought, let's do an event where, you know, throughout the month, just like they do for college basketball, there's a tournament going on, but it's a two person tournament between myself and I, your pie, where we face off, we do a lot of speed run races, we do challenge runs, uh, all sorts of really cool things every day of the month, basically. And, uh, you know, whoever wins that given day wins a point, yada, yada, yada. We crown a champion, a heavyweight belt gets sent to the, uh, you know, whoever won the month. And uh, the loser has to go through a bunch of funny punishments and stuff. They got to play a game of your choice. They got to get a Tom Brady poster up, whatever, yada, yada, whatever you got to do. Um, but in addition to that, people also, just like with college basketball with March Madness, you can fill out a bracket picking who you think is going to win every day of the month and ever and you would think oh well that's cool what do i get out of it bragging rights yes but more importantly a big old grand prize um i believe we have somewhere to show off you guys can go fill out a bracket if you want as well um, i don't know if we need to post the link in chat or something or uh exclamation point rng should give them that also prizes oh yeah prizes <laughs> yeah there's probably yeah Scent would be proud. We're giving out prizes just like we do every year. And this year, Pi and I have done a lot of cool prizes in the past. We've done like Nintendo Switches in the past. Obviously, you know, when they were first coming out, uh, we've done, you know, build your own gaming PC. This year we decided, let's go for it, dude. Our communities have been so supportive of us. We're doing the ultimate gamer package. Oh, and boy. you know what's in that wow. ultimate gamer package? Can I talk about it? Can I talk yes, about it? Yes, you do it. You do that package. one. You do that one. <laughs> okay, so, so as Spike was saying, if you fill out these predictions, it takes like five minutes max. You have a chance to win this. Whoever predicts the most correctly will win this package. This ultimate gamer package is ultimate. All right, let's 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 talk about it. PlayStation 5. Check. Oh my god. Xbox Series X. Check. Nintendo Switch. Check six games of your choice. So if you want to get six games of like whatever, bad rats, we'll get you six games of bad rats in there. Check. And then the actual cherry on top, the best part of the package. No gamer package is complete without gamer snacks. And we've got a $69 gift card to Taco Bell. If you predict the most correct out of all the people you will get all of these gamer packages, all these systems, and a $69 gift card to Taco Bell. You'll nice. never find a more ultimate package of, of gamer level. Do you agree, Spike? I 100% agree. Like, you had me at the, at the Taco Bell gift card. Like, you know how many? That is a depressing number of items <laughs> you can get at Taco Bell. I remember back in college once, 
being, you know, with the with the theater majors. We went and spent $35 at Taco Bell. It was a feast for six families. So think about all you can do with $69. I know the economy's tough these days, but my God. So just keep that in mind, Chad. Like, I could have stopped at PlayStation 5. That's already in a, ma a massive... Uh, grand prize right there. You get all those consoles, any six games for those of your choice. Fill out a bracket, even if you literally have no idea who's going to win between myself and Pi. It's a completely free entry. Pi, I believe we have over 3,000 brackets already filled out. 3,100. Wow. And I expect that to skyrocket after today. So, yeah, it's open to everybody. You do not need to be in the U.S. We'll figure something out. If you live outside of the U.S., fill it out. Get it in there again. It takes five minutes. It's just predict who you think is going to win. And then obviously tune into Mom. I and mean, you don't have to tune into Mom, but tune into Mom to kind of track your, your how you're doing. There's going to be a huge leaderboard on the, the Mom Mam site that you'll be able to see how you're doing compared against everyone else. So it's just a huge, it's like fantasy football almost for for gaming. We It's a huge thing. It grows every year. It's probably our favorite part of Mom Mam is the, the prediction forms and whatnot. So we'll be talking about that a lot over the course of that, of, of today. I'm All excited. right, well, is it time to duel? Oh, it's always time to duel. All right, oh, let's do it then. It's time to duel. D -d 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 duel, Yugi boy. Oh yeah, we're playing a video game tonight, aren't we? Yeah, there's yeah. three there are video of the games. Road to Mo Man. We're having a little buildup event here. And for game three, we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories five card. What's five card? You get five cards. We'll explain that as we get into the game. Yes, five cards. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to save Egypt. I warmed up last night, dude. I'm ready to go. I heard you warmed up with vanilla. I was like, man, this Ooh. dude's taking the training weights off today. I almost <laughs> PB by like two hours. I had an MBD, a Megamorph going in at like the sub six hour point. Could not. What? Yeah. What a legend, dude. All right, all right on, on your one. countdown. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll, go for it. We'll talk about all the Baja Blast and stuff as we get into this, but let's get into this. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Who's counting me down? Spike, you want me to count? Spike. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you got All it? Right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, man, six. Good luck and have fun. Again, folks, just as a reminder, this is the five-card mod. Both players will be receiving five cards, which e with each win ex instead of one. I don't know how folks do the vanilla one. Pi did it last night. Somehow got a, uh, a meteor black dragon. I don't know how to get that. I know it's complicated, so good on Pi for doing that. But the five-card mod should be much easier. Thank goodness, because if you've ever played this on one card, Ooh. it's... It's a description that I would not describe as a family-friendly, positive experience on one card, but that's just me. <laughs> All right. Cool. I might, for whatever reason, you get a 30-second head start, Spike, because my oh, controller... Is your controller not working? working or something? All right, you know what? I'm going to put Bob in. I'm sorry. Hi. I got to do it. Hi, we had a it. discussion. We had a discussion no, on social work. media. It's going to be fine. Oh, my, oh my God. Pi, no. Oh, so no. Obviously, you can name your file name, whatever you want. I go down the alphabet to know how bad my luck was because what we're doing now is we are rolling for a deck that's not total poop. Uh, let's see. I got a dragon. I got a power of... We're not keeping it. I can't believe he named his file. I told him not to name it Bob like two nights ago because I saw what Bob did as a Celebi on Iron Man. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, we'll be God. okay. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so for the rolling the decks in the beginning, so a lot of people probably played this game as a kid back in like the late 90s. You're like, ha ha, I have no idea what's going on. And that's true. Uh, we've played this now uh, <laughs> probably about 100 times, and I still don't know what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of stuff to it. I am actually a believer. I don't know how you feel about this game, Pi. I unironically like this game, but it is explained to you so poorly how it works. They're basically like, we're not giving you a tutorial. Go figure it out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you live off of uh, needing to, like, fuse monsters together in order to make anything. We'll explain those fusions in finer details as we go along. But here, looking through our opening decks, oh, uh, we're trying to find dragons and thunders, because those make twin-headed thunder dragon, which is definitely the meta of this game. And we're trying to see Raigeki and ideally an equip. A dragon, Axe of Despair, Umi, Dark Hole. I'm going to save this deck. I'm going to save What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, no equip. 
Dude, don't do it, man. Actually, do it, Spike. That's a great idea. Go without an yeah, equip. Sure. I think it's a good idea. You should totally not take an equip. I had a Dragon of Thunder and a Dark Hole. That's like a problem no. or not, but I, I'm just saving it. Um, usually, like, within a handful of decks, you get something that's workable. The biggest thing, so if you played this game on vanilla, you, uh, Sky already talked about it. You only get one card every time you win a duel. They really didn't want you to progress in this game. So it's just hours and hours of grinding. We're doing five card. It's it's a mod of the game that allows you to get five cards instead of one whenever you win a duel. Um, five cards. And hey, you played it on vanilla. You basically wanted to reroll decks until you got one of five usable equips that would equip to your twin-headed thunder dragons that will hopefully be fusing throughout this playthrough. And a Regeki doesn't hurt versus a Dark Hole. So Regeki yeah. wipes out only your opponent's side of the field. Dark Hole wipes out both sides of the field and creates this really awkward lag moment, like every single time I've played it. So, so we're, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're getting yeah, like it's good. every time you do, every time you uh, roll out Dark Hole, you think your game crashed. Yeah. Regeki's pretty good for like farming, but Dark Hole can be super useful on the final six when they have like a lot of magic cards or trap cards in the back. Yeah. So it's like a give or take. We're, typically, we'll roll with Regeki. We prefer, at least I prefer Regeki. I don't know what Spike prefers, but I definitely I prefer Regeki. So Regeki's just like you say, it's a lot more straightforward. Because like you're bringing up Dark Hole, yeah, it destroys all the cards in the field, but that also includes their magic cards. Mm -hmm. Rageki will only get rid of your opponent's monster cards. That's it. So it's, you know, it, it's a 50-50 roll on whether the starting deck will give you Rageki or Dark Hole. Um, and then there's always one equip. The different equips we're looking for are, do I remember all of them? Beast Fangs. Horn of Light, Dragon Treasure, Dark Energy, and uh, Invigoration. Under Dragon. And, mm -hmm. and later on, if you're really lucky and you see a wonderful card called Megamore. Oh, I'm going to save this deck. <laughs> I might roll with this deck. I'm not rolling for this deck. Let's see what do you got? What do you got? Hang on. I've got a got? Dragon, uh, two Thunders, Raigeki, Mountain, and Elf's Light. Uh, Elf's Light, though, doesn't do much. Oh, no. The, the equip's not good. I am going to roll, like, three more decks. And then I'll just take that one. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah, we did oh. not put a limit on this. I just told them don't roll decks for one hour. But if you ever watch a stream of Forbidden Memories, sometimes that is the first hour of the stream is just to get a functional deck is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I got I saved a uh, Regeki Mountain, one Thunder, one Dragon, but I'm really with Spike potentially not taking an equip, I'm probably gonna try to get one. Just cause Yeah, that's a big advantage. I'd like to have that. I mean, even though you're getting five card drops, it's still it's not like it's well, five cards you're gonna get within three or four rolls. You could be sitting there for an hour or two, even with five cards. Yeah. Yeah, I see a couple of comments in chat, by the way, as to how this ties to the current Yu-Gi-Oh card game as someone who's played this game for 10 years. It is not. It does not. So my theory behind this game is this is what I believe the developers thought would be the alpha version of this game. Because, you know, you can't fuse without polymerization in the real thing. You can't just put down a seven-star creature without sacrificing two level four or lower creatures. These aren't things, but for some reason in this magical world of Forbidden Memories, this is a thing. So that's where my kind of take is. I think this was meant to see what the alpha version of the game might look like. Now you know why the game doesn't look like this, even though the card game is still fundamentally broken nowadays. But that's a whole different discussion for another day. Yeah, I think the team that worked on this was completely different from the team that was also working on the actual card game, which was completely yeah. different from the team that was actually working on, like, the anime. So right, it's just like and you just had, had a no manga that inspired all this, and the manga wasn't even just a card game. It was like dungeon dice monsters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody was just in their own rooms doing their own thing. They all had the same artwork on their cards. That's the only similarity. This was the, basically the uh, the example of, like, throwing darts and seeing what sticks. Uh-huh. As it turned out, not a lot stuck here. Not a lot, dude. Season one of the anime is like, there are no rules. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right, oh, come on, man. show me an equip, steel shell. I'm not even gonna look at the rest of that deck. All right, Chad, we're gonna roll one more deck, and then I'm taking the Dragon Two Thunders, Gecky Mountain. Oh, perfect. You should take it. Just don't even roll another one, Spike. You're good. You're gonna win. You're you got good. This. So, and then I gotta fun. hope for equip luck. I gotta hope my girl Isis pays out, gives me like three dragon treasures. Maybe I'll get a campaign dark energy. We'll Ooh. see what happens. That'd so, be pretty pog. Fun fact about Forbidden Memories here on RNG. This was actually the pilot of our show. Because I'm thinking, well, wait, it doesn't oh. have to be all randomizers, right? Like, this game is more random than most randomizers we have oh, on the yeah. show. That's how bad the randomness is on this. <laughs> so I'm like, this is close enough. It's a good meme. The folks enjoy it. So when I had the opportunity to ask Pine Spike, hey, you want to come back and relive a fun memory? Like, well, fun for us, maybe not so much for them. They were like, yeah, sure, let's do all this. Right. Bo, we went with Bo yesterday in my almost PB run. We're going to try Bo instead of Bob. We're going to see. Let's see oh, if the Bob the, I the real. silver bow and arrow. I was like, you did? What? <laughs> dragon, cyber shield. Okay, yeah, we're we're leaving. We're taking the Dragon Two Thunders deck. Let's go. All right. Good luck. I'll see you All in right. an hour. <laughs> Pa See, I knew Pi wasn't going to go with Bob. I knew it. I, I knew it was going to be Bo or B or something like that. I loaded Sky that said I can grind until 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So we're going <laughs> to... I'm going to look for that. You know what? We're it's just trying to make the, the real true experience of playing Forbidden Memories. Rolling this is what forever. you're getting. Two Thunders. Yeah, I'm out. Okay, yeah. We have a fire grass. So... All right off the bat, y'all like, okay, what is strategy? How do you play this game? Well, I'm going to first show you by losing this duel. Dragon. Uh, and then after that, we'll fight Rex, and we'll actually get to show you what it is. Oh, is. I actually think you don't get anything for defeating Haishin 1. I don't think you do. You, you do. Get you card, would get cards. You get, but you but, have to fight him again. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. demanding that you fight him until you lose. <laughs> you will lose. I do not care. <laughs> So the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories vanilla, so you get one card every time you win a duel. The world record for that uses RNG manipulation, actually beats Hayashin here at the beginning of the game in order to manipulate a Meteor Black Dragon. You heard Pi talking about the Meteor Black Dragon earlier. That is the best Bengal monster you have access to in the game. It's very, very rare. Both of us We'll try to get it tonight. Maybe we'll see what happens. I will be it's going a thirty-five hundred attack monster. Yeah, I'm not a taking tonight, Spike. F that. I'm just gonna. I'm just yeah. gonna go for MBD. He showed up yesterday early. He blessed my run. I trust in him, dude. I'm gonna get two MBDs in the same pack. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say this pre-show, but a friendly reminder, and this is a friendly reminder given how how wild this game can be sometimes. Remember to keep it PG and family friendly because this <laughs> game will make you want to say language again that is that family friendly. Well, I censored myself. I said, hey, big censor life, big censor. the letter. We need the buzz thing. We need the little <laughs> buzz thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting no luck right now. I did get a two thunder, one dragon deck, but it had like Yami or something. And I think it might've had Rejecti. I don't remember. We're going to keep going. Especially with Spike opting to not get the equip, this is kind of a strategy thing for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to play for it since it's one less, one more thing Spike is gonna have to grind for because you you need an equip to win this. Game. Like I, I yeah, would you, you agree? You can't win. Yeah, like, I would 100 percent agree. Very, very, very difficult. You have to get like insane easy path luck. So and to know for people watching might be thinking like, oh well, this game is pretty hard. Will either one of them be able to beat it in four hours? Probably not. I'm just gonna put y'all down easy. Probably not gonna happen in four hours. But we'll see. We're gonna we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. The way we're gonna decide a winner for the night, because this is actually in the road to moment. We have to decide a winner to decide a, a third of a point. We're doing the best three out of five here. I'm up 2-0. Um, not bragging, I'm just pointing it out. Um, but uh it'll be whoever gets the furthest first. So technically, very technically, I'm in the loop. But again, we'll see. There's Kind of now, I view it as there's three big chunks to this game. There is the world tournament we're about to do, where we uh, go to the future. We're gonna play as uh, we're gonna play as Yugi, not the prince right here, and uh, play all the way through the like nine world tournament matches here. Uh, there is oh. then the uh, Pokemon gym battle. Oh, what's up? Did you find something? I got Beast Fang's Dark Hole Sogan with a Thunder. Ooh. 
I'm oh, I take it. that. Uh, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. To be honest, Chef, despite my one dragon, two thunders, right, Geki, I would say Pi would be in the lead because that's how strong that equip is. If that deck had come with a right Geki, 5,000%. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do what Spike did. I've got an equip now. I'm going to do five rolls max and see if we can get something better. Maybe three, we'll see, we'll see. But I have, I do have an equip and the thunder, which is very nice. I'm sad that it's dark hole, but dark hole is not terrible. It's it's no. still very usable. And one might argue better than Regeki, but I prefer Regeki just for, it just Regeki is really nice of like clearing out the enemy without you losing your cards. Cause when you use dark hole, it, it everything goes into the hole, including your setup. So that could kind of, screw you over if you have like something very very good set up like let's say i had an mbd on the board well there goes the mbd if i have to use dark hole to get out of a situation god this hand is terrible what is this, this okay. music is so good spike yeah the music is very good yes um so i'm just gonna chuck these calls i i've never seen so many baby monsters in my life in my opening hand okay so <laughs> right off the bat people are gonna wonder like all right what are the mechanics of this if you tap up on a card, then you put them in a queue where they'll go out in that order and try to fuse together. I knew none of those were going to fuse together. I was just trying to get them out. Okay, I think this... Are you a real beast? I actually don't. Um, I'm just going to go chuck, 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 chuck a root. And see what happens here. I don't think this will work. Oh, that actually worked. Will this work? No. Bah. 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 We, uh... Okay. We didn't have any conditions on if you wanted to have me as a resource or not, because I actually do know a little bit about this game. I wasn't sure if that was a <laughs> real animal or not. So there's a lot <laughs> of little things you have to know, special things about like what monsters will fuse together. Okay, okay, we can make this work. We can make this work, people. All right, you know what? We're going for the, bolt, the full BCD rank. Let's go. Black Dragon, Jungle King, Dragon Plus Plant. He's a 2100 coming out on the field. And uh, you might wonder, how'd you know that? The really easy way as a base to understand how stuff fuses together in this game is just look at the different types. No, don't do this. No, don't do that. Okay, this is a 1900. We can work past it. He went for a fusion. It's not going to be bigger than mine. It'll be good. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do here? Fairy type plus rock? Ugh, gross. None of these are good. Um, okay, the 850 is going out because he can get over the top of the other defense. So look at their little icon. See how that's a dragon? See how that's a water? Yeah, go off of that. Ooh, um, oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I got two dra- Oh, this is good. Dragon, dragon treasure, Regeki, mountain. Oh, two thunders. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. We're going to save. Oh, my God. You did die again. Wow. That's a that's... great. Mountain is a usable card, too. That's actually yeah. fantastic. I would say no offense, Mike. Pi's probably in the lead with that good of a deck. I oh, just without a deck. But I did just make Mystical Sand. So that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do have a point. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> that, that puts me ahead right there. So that's going to be rough. Pi is basically only coming in like a few minutes behind me and he's already got a much better day but it's right i'm making the bcd play right here we'll explain this stuff as we go through because there's a lot of mechanics within this game but uh so right. 900 is that gonna be good it's it's enough if this kills it let me see oh i'm gonna get a guardian star advantage nice Right there, you saw my my monster actually got a 500 point boost. It's Pokemon typing. It's weird. Every monster has two different types that you can put in as, and uh, that'll just give it a 500 point bonus if it comes in with that. Come on, be a beast fangs. Yes, yes, yes. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! No Literally. way. Oh, yes oh, way. Go. Are you serious? <laughs> well, Spike's now and now uh, technically in the lead. We're wow. about tied, I would say. Wow, dude. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. I will say, <laughs> Beast Fangs doesn't work on MBD. But that is true. <laughs> that is true. So, for those of oh. you who uh, don't know, again, they do have the opportunity to purchase, at the very least, dragons and thunders throughout the game using the star chips that they accumulate for each game. So if they're short creatures, they can at least 
look up the creatures and then enter in the code once they have enough star chips to produce those creatures that create Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, which is going to be the category's signature card, besides Meteor Black Dragon. Again, we don't know if we're going to see it. It's a pretty rare drop, but Twin Headed Thunder Dragon is what we're going to be looking at here for the majority of the game. Yo, we got that Thunder Duck in the hand. Let's go, dude. Rolling deep. Okay, I'm going to pop these guys together. I'll give me a Immortal of Thunder, 1500. That can work. So within each duelist within this game, you obviously have to have different strategies. Maybe you're just trying to know what is the biggest monster they can put down. I know that the biggest monster I'm going to see out of him tonight is going to be Clown Zombie. Uh, am I? Uh, this is all you know what? Anthrosaurus, you're big enough, my dude. Let's go, Roland D. Okay. Like, what is the button to check your drops? Is it select in that menu? It's or? select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be your last. Oh, 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 oh. When on your windscreen, tap left and right. Oh, oh, gotcha. gotcha. That'll cycle through them. Okay. All right, we lost the Anthrosaurus because he got the Guardian Star advantage. Oh, well. Um, oh. Um, I'm not going to go for another BCE play. Probably not a terrible idea. So what I was popping off for there is at the end of each duel, you will be given some amount of uh, of sport. Um, that is determined by basically how the duel goes. If I defeat my opponent very quickly without them getting to a lot, uh, like I'm trying to do here with Rex, I'll get a full like five stars off of it. Uh, plus get into a certain card drop. Um, oh. We do have one question, by the way, for both Pi and Spike regarding Moman 6. Is um, the form for Moman 6 for prizes, is that US only? No. Okay. No. Thank you. Well, fair, Thank you. There might be some things where we do like an alternate thing in terms of, but you'll match the value of the prizes that we're giving away. So yeah, anybody can anybody can fill that form. I, here's how much people care about the Taco Bell gift card. Someone asked me, like, what What if I don't have Taco Bell on my... <laughs> like, like the worst thing that's going to happen. Oh, man, I only want a PS5 and Xbox and Switch. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, what, what, what's going to happen if I can't, if there's no Taco Bell in my area? <laughs> Brad, don't worry. We'll work with you on that one. We I'll, will work with you. It's fine. I'll tell you, if I could still get Volcano Tacos... That would definitely oh, sure. be a different Yo, story. And, and here's the timing of this. They're bringing potatoes back to Taco Bell in oh, March. Yeah. Not a coincidence. Oh Not a coincidence. Just oh. saying. So good. Dude, this music is so good. Put in oh, you and man. you. What is your favorite music from this game? I like um Seto. I think it's Seto 2. Yeah, Seto 2 is my favorite easily. Seto, yeah. Seto, yeah, yeah, Seto the world feels tournament. like an epic Seto. battle when you're doing it. It's really good. Um, let's make my boy the bean daddy. Let's go. So a lot of what's happening, so we brought up how the meta of the game is you definitely just want to make twin-headed thunder dragon as quickly as you can. Your deck's not going to come just pre-built to do that. Both of our decks actually can. Like, we we do have the, the build to be able to do it. You. You have to know a ton of middle game fusions to be able to get you through that early part of the game. And so we know stuff that, you know, gets us anywhere from like that 1,200 to up to 2,100 attack range. Twin and Thunder Dragon is for two or three cards, you can make a 2,800 monster. And there's not a ton of strategy in like what your monsters do. There's no monster effects or anything. We it's have... just, you want that number to be as big as possible. We have a question for Pi. I'm sorry, Spike. I couldn't refuse. Go, go, go. <laughs> Someone asked, is Pi eating cold Chipotle and burritos today? Listen, okay. I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> this has been a big conversation on my screen, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to cause a stir in the chat, okay? It's a controversial opinion about food. But recently, hold on, wait, how do I do this, Spike? Okay. Cap left and right, you should see the new cards. Oh, okay. Uh, but I have been recently discovered that, like, Take a burrito from Chipotle, you refrigerate it. It tastes delicious if you have the right ingredients where it's nice and cold, but apparently a cold burrito is bad. I, I, I've been enjoying it a ton. You just keep living your best life, Pop. Listen, man, I, I, I have found a secret and, and if no one believes me, that's perfectly fine. 
<laughs> Are you farming on Rex right now, Spike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I just, uh, such controversy in chat here, Pi, we're already seeing. <laughs> yeah. Cold burritos are, see, there's a couple of believers in the chat. I'm sorry. I, I'm glad that some people understand. And again, throughout the show, I'm going to be posting the links to both of their streams in chat. Please follow Bulls Runners. You will not only be hearing this during MoMAM 6, but which we will talk about MoMAM 6 more and more. I saw a bunch of new folks coming in saying, wait, what's this MoMAM 6? What is this with a with a Taco Bell gift card with a meme number on it? There, there is a story behind that. We'll talk about that in a little while. But um, please follow Bulls Streamers again. Just fantastic friends, fantastic communities. Just go for it and uh, join us for MoMAM 6. By the way, if you want to talk about Moment 6 now is a good opportunity because we've gotten so many more people here since the beginning of stream. Yeah, I promoted it last time. You do it, Pi. Oh, man. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I love talking about Moment 6. I hate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those coming in, Moment 6 is uh, we've been doing this. You'll never you'll never believe it. This is our sixth year of doing wow. Moment. <laughs> what if one year we skip a number in the number? Off. Uh, but it is a yearly event myself and Spike Vegeta have been putting on where we play various games where we race against them throughout the month of March. We've been doing this again six years. We, we started with mostly Mario and Zelda and we branched out to basically everything at this point. I mean, we've got Risk 2 from 1996 on like Windows 96 featured yes. in this MoMAM. So we, we, we play a little bit of everything for everybody. And it goes on throughout the month of March. We have a little competition. Who wins each race? We keep score. It's really just for fun. But, you know, there's there's some bragging rights to it at the end of the year to see who's you know, wins the most games. But again, throughout the entire month of March, we if, for more information, you can what is the command in this this chat? Um, exclamation point RNG and a quick note really quickly. Since we started stream, we have gained 250 signups on the prediction form. Y'all rock. Thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate that. Wow, that's awesome, everyone. So yeah, if you go to you put in the command moment or RNG and it'll take you. There's a streambig.net slash momem6. It has a schedule of all the games that we're gonna be playing throughout the month. But the big thing Spike and I are super excited about when it comes to this month is something we I don't know if we even really have a name for it. We just call it predictions. But basically, you predict who you think is going to win each race throughout the entire month, along with a couple side bets, like are both runners gonna finish under this amount of time? Or are they gonna have to reset on this or the level? And at the end of the year, or the end of the year, at the end of the month, whoever has the most predictions correct is going to win what we're basically calling the ultimate gamer pack. And in this package, you can win a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, a Nintendo Switch, not one of those three, all of those three, yeah. plus six games of your choice. And then the actual like prize of this package, the $69 gift card to Taco Bell. No gamer is truly living the ultimate gamer experience without gamer snacks. So we've included that in there. Again, that is open to anybody. It takes five minutes to, to find out about it or to fill it out if you're interested. And then obviously follow along on our streams and on I Eat Your Pie and Spike Vegeta. There's also other stuff we're giving away. There's like a social media prize giveaway that we're doing on there as well. All of the information is on the website. But it's such, again, it's just a, a month long event that me and Spike put together that we just have a lot of fun. It's just a fun month of game. Yeah. Nice chill month. Come chill with us, chat again. That'll be starting officially on March 1st with uh, Mario Party oh. 3. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, we're starting with Mario Party 3 Hard Mode, which yep. is always a favorite. People love um, it's the story mode and the the second hardest difficulty. Super hard is just a little bit too much for us right now, but... <laughs> uh, yes, and we talked about this a little earlier. If this is global or if this is just US, you can you can fill that form out anywhere in the world from what yes. I can understand, so yes. For the most part. Well, yeah, we'll figure something out. Just fill yeah. it out, and if you're the best that ever was, you'll get you'll get a prize, a good prize, a fantastic prize. Let's get rid of these two. Let's throw so on Arlen. There is some questions about the Chipotle burrito. Now, now here's the other question that I had for Pi, and I was a follow-up to this. How do you feel about cold Taco Bell? No, terrible. Okay, all right, let me, all right, let me just clarify this. Let me just clarify this. Chipotle 
is like relatively on the fast food scale fresh, right? Taco Bell, that's like a one-time deal. You can't store it for, for tomorrow. Oh. But if you get a burrito, hold on, let me defend myself here. If you get a burrito and you put some salsa in there, you put some good cheese in there, you get some seasoned meat like steak in there, and you got some, you know, some, some, uh, what's the, what's the, the liquid cheese that they call, uh, liquid cheese? That no, like no, 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 you know, like queso, 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 okay. some queso, and you let it, you know, basically ferment in the refrigerator and the, the flavor just seeps into the, all of the things inside. The next, what you have is a package of deliciousness the next day is what I do. <laughs> is I order tacos and a burrito and I had the tacos for dinner. And then tomorrow, the next following day, I have the burrito. And it's it's two straight days of deliciousness. I'm telling you, I, again, I had a lot of people in my chat questioning me. I had a few people try it out and they came back to me and said, Pi, you've changed my life. Like one person said that. Everyone else said it was okay. But oh. I'm gonna focus on the positive. <laughs> And one person said it changed the way they look at burritos. And I'm telling you, give it a shot. We have a friend of the stream in chat here, Ivan. I know you don't mind me calling you out, but uh, Ivan says Chipotle's case is bad. I, I don't know about that, Ivan. They improved it. They improved it. it I don't know. They improved it. Last that's time a, that's I ate take. Chipotle's queso, not the best. Not my favorite. Their guac, hilariously good. It's so, so good. But I like the old Chipotle queso. I, 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 I had it earlier and it was delicious. That's all I can tell you. That's all, I, I can only speak what I know. I also think, and I think there are a couple people who agreed with me in chat. I really think you can eat Taco Bell cold. The thing is you can't get the crunchy tacos and then put it in the fridge. Like that doesn't work. If you get like the soft ones though, I found those to be palatable. After one day, there is a shelf life on that in my opinion. But I still think you can have Taco Bell cold. It just depends crunchy on what it taco, is. Crunchy taco. The crunchy taco loses its crunch after like yes. 45 minutes after delivery. Uh, that's that's <laughs> what I have experienced in my life. Um, what do I want here? No. I don't think Taco Bell. I'm getting at my. Cold. I'm getting at my card password guy. <laughs> Oh, hey, you want to link that to me, Spike? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I knew. I knew this is exactly what was going to happen. I was going to bring it up, too, if none of y'all had it, because I had an old one. Yeah, here we go. That looks good. I, yeah. I, I, would prefer, I would love to have access to that. <laughs> Password. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, 25 star chips. Um, yep. Uh, uh, 0943. Hey God, this is uh, this is a question for Spike here. I Spike, you're gonna have to explain this to me. It says, "Ask Spike about Trent." Are you talking about like Treyon the tree? Like in this game, there's oh yeah, but oh yeah, the tree. Wait, how'd you pronounce it? What? It, I thought it was Treyon, T R E A N T or something. Treyon? It's yeah. Trent. <laughs> He's so offended. He's so <laughs> Y'all get me in trouble here in chat. Well, I'm here for y'all, so that's fine. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, but uh, what are you again? You're just a spellcaster. You're a spellcaster. Yeah, let's just put like, yeah, all of you in. That's fine. Uh, Trent's my boy. Uh, he is the. He's a 1500 attack monster. 2000 attack less than MBD and the same rarity. So when I get him, I'm popping off, chat. So hopefully we see a trend tonight. All right. So I've got cars. I actually got really lucky with both a crawly dragon number like, two. Oh, and that a link in the in the random number generator channel. So I can yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, boop and copy. Yeah. All right. We're going on. We're taking on Weevil Underwood. And now we're going over. And, oh, you're already uh, done farming? Wow. And I, I see a lot of folks are having fun in yeah. chat. If you like controversial food discussion, MoMam 6 is definitely a place where I have seen plenty of that in MoMam 5, 4, et cetera, et cetera. There's been oh, so yeah. much talk about food and preparation of food and how to eat food and stuff. So if you enjoy that, there's plenty of that for y'all in both of these wonderful streamers chats. And again, please give both a follow. They very much deserve it. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's give it a shot. Will Gigatech Wolf take these things? It does, cat. What a discovery here on GDQ Hoppix. That's sort of the fun of this game, is that you make discoveries every day, every time you play this game. 
What do you like? Because now it's seventeen hundred is That's good. Uh, wings. Uh, there's a lot of middling poop in my deck. There's like fusion pieces that don't go together. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Get just get out of my hand. Just get out of here. Don't want you. Get out. Okay, uh, this is this is really good. This is a question for Spike here. Now that we know about Pi's hot or cold food takes, what is Spike's hottest food take? My hottest food take? I don't know. I'm so boring when it comes to food, people. I'm so boring. I uh, uh, I like midnight um, uh, midnight salads. Those are good. Those make me feel good inside. Um, <laughs> when I was a kid, I don't. When I was a kid growing up, I ate a lot of. Uh, probably, this is probably the weirdest thing. I ate a lot of uh, ketchup on my mashed potatoes. And Whoa. I had so many people. Whoa, what's wrong with that? that that's that. Oh. I do that See, Sonny, yeah, you either yeah. You, you hate me or you're like, you're sim you sympathize with it a little bit. I ate so much. <laughs> it was ketchup and potatoes. The classic people. Who's judging me? Apparently pop. I'm not judging you. That makes sense to me. I, 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 I would not put ketchup in my mashed potatoes, dude. That's. <laughs> well, I did. Uh, oh, I don't you know don't anymore? That, that makes me Wait. sad that you don't anymore, Spike. Hmm? Oh, that I don't? Oh, I mean, I feel like I don't. I feel, I feel like ketchup is the food you eat when you are a child. And when you're an adult, <laughs> oh you have God. different tastes. Yo, Black, the double Blackland Fire Dragon. That exists on Weevil Underwood? My dude, let's go, dude. I know I just discussed it in the chat. Ew, gross. You eat potato. You eat ketchup on potatoes every day. It's different, dude. It's the texture. <laughs> it's all oh, your food is so texture is so important in food, man. Here, I, I have I have a I have if we're talking controversial food takes here. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in that ketchup is needed on things that taste bad. Like if you're having to put ketchup Aww. on something. It means that the food that you're eating is not good. Hence, for example, a good burger. Why would you ever ruin a good burger with ketchup when you can make it delicious without it? Think about it. Think about all the places that put ketchup in a burger like McDonald's, Burger King, and then you go out to like a real burger place and you don't put ketchup on it. It, it just, just, <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind the other day when I thought about it. Oh, I am not getting any drops right now, dude. No dragons off. This Weevil no not help out, dude. Our boy. Oh no, Oz doesn't cook that food for me. I I voluntarily sometimes still put ketchup on my mashed potatoes, but it's not often anymore. Heck yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I don't even have any emotional connection left to it, but Chat and Pi have called me out so hard. I'm like, yeah, no, maybe no, I'll no, go no. do it tonight. I'll go dump a whole bottle. Of yeah, I know. I was gonna be like, I haven't done it in a while, but now I kind of want to, you know. <laughs> that uh, that just sounds great. Right. <laughs> sounds like a good old time. We'll try it. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, let's. Sir? I'm just saying, think about all the things you can put on a burger in terms of like buffalo sauce, in terms of like chipotle sauce. Mm. And oh, yeah. all of these things, like you could ranch, you, everything. Ooh, cheese crumbles. Oh, there's so many like seasonings that you can put on in terms of like peppers and bell sprout peppers and like just jalapenos. All of these things are ruined when you put ketchup with it. Think about it, the truth is out there. Someone's gonna be like, no, pie's wrong. And then they're gonna think about it an hour or two later and be like, wait a second, this, uh, he's right. He's you should have listened right. to it. Spike, you should make one of pie's punishments. Make him put ketchup on mashed potatoes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the moment of six punishment. You want to eat mashed potatoes with ketchup on afterwards. You pick something for me. So something we like to do every year, chat, <laughs> is we like to do punishments with Mo Man. People the are okay. winner oh, makes the loser have to play games. What? Why? 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 People what? are saying ranch on a burger. Have you ever had a <laughs> buffalo burger? Like a buffalo sauce with ranch on a burger? Oh my gosh. People are free the taste buds in the chat room. Free them. Free your taste buds. <laughs> I want to put this burger. No, oh, no. If he man. does this, Spike, he's got it. He can't get off easy with the red ketchup. He's got to get like the green or the purple ketchup or something like that. Make it look really. That's, oh, nice. get the the weird. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Like yeah. All right. Um, I, no, that's all bad. I'm gonna leave. I've got two elf slide. That's cool. 
If I was oh. running a female base deck, so dragons are king in this game. Dragons <laughs> used with like anything. It's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, what is not king in this game? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Oops. Uh, actually, uh, let's just get rid of you. Sure. Um, uh, second best in the deck is actually females. Anything that just looks like it's got a female on the card, it fuses with almost anything. Problem is you're only going to get monsters ranging in the like 18 to 2100 range, whereas dragons can get real big, like th like the uh, twin-headed thunder dragon. Let me see here. Uh, but that's really good for the mid game. Like having yeah. something like the 1800s in these first fights when you're grinding is like super, super beneficial. Yes, a girl. Yeah, that 2100 I knew was just big enough to get over their 2000. A lot of this is obviously like knowing the AI, knowing what kind of monsters they like to put down. And a little thing you can do to just like up your game in this that Pi and I are not good. Like we won't. <laughs> but you can read the hard symbol of the face down card. You get a little leg up on what that monster might be. Um, as for this though, I'm just gonna chuck all of you. I, I know female plus show. an animal here is going to give me a nickel gal number two of the 1900 variety. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, go ahead, Scott. Um, so, so what kind of cheese do you put on your burgers then, if you put cheese on your burgers? Pepper jack um, cheese, baby. Pe pepper jack, baby. Well, so I feel like I said, am not a what? big... I feel like I'm not big with cheese on burgers. I, I, I don't hate it by any means. Well, someone said Pi puts craft singles on his burgers. Oh, that's about not to have true. Thing. Okay, that, I, that, <laughs> that actual a lot, of, a lot of lies being spread on the internet. Okay, so I, I live in Wisconsin, which is basically the home of dairy and cheese in particular, and we do not recognize craft singles as a cheese. That is not a real cheese. I want to make that very clear from the get-go. Craft singles is fake. It's like Velveeta, both fake cheeses. You don't put those things on there. I know every single time we go to get like grilled cheese, Oth starts picking up the Kraft Singles. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't eat that in this house. We don't eat fake cheese. I, I appreciated the, the fake graphic. Or I guess it was a real graphic, but it was a meme that went around last year. Like uh, most ordered candies or whatever in movie theaters. And in Wisconsin, it was like craft singles. I was like, wait a minute. I feel like this cannot be true. We're saving the game. No. Uh, wait. Let me just save again, make sure. You want to save a lot in this game, by the way. Uh, return to title. Wait, no. What am I doing? I don't need to return. I got so thrown off. All right, so we are at about the halfway point of the world tournament. My deck is looking pretty solid. There are nine total duels here, four tough ones. This idiot who just rolls over and dies. And then <laughs> there's right. four more after this. There's another friend of the stream. And again, I'm only calling out friends of the stream because I know I know some of these folks hang out in Pied Spice Bed. So we got Barrel in chat. And Barrel says, that's right. Piling is the canned cheese. That's not, oh, <laughs> these are all watch. Listen, just because I just want to, okay. So I need to, we're coming, we're coming back to, to point A here. I prefer hot burritos over cold ones, okay? This is not like a, man, cold burrito is better. I'm just saying that it, it doesn't, it's not as bad as you think it would be, all right? But since that, people are like, wow, Pi must have, I, I'm not the worst food takes of all time. This is one, apparently refrigerating a burrito is like the end of all. And now nobody trusts me anymore. I don't, I know canned cheese is fake as well. Ugh, I couldn't oh, do canned man. cheese. My no name way. is being sullied right now. It is being dragged <laughs> in the mud. <laughs> Iron feather this man. <laughs> Uh, I think that was a good time. Just boring food eaters in the chat like Yo, me. Crawling dragon number I, two. I occasionally, um, occasionally spike, but okay. starting to change a little bit because of off. You know how off can be. I yeah, off making sure you you expand. He's making sure I experience food. Right. I got the crawling dragon number two. Sadly, so that is like probably the number one card you want from Rex. That's not Beast Fangs, and it's just somehow his most common card, and he never gives it to us. Um, I want to go into BCD for my dude here. So that means I'm going to go bada bing, bada bang, bada bizzle, bada wait. 
All right, I'm gonna do a couple more farms on Rex. And one, two, three, in four, here. five. I'd like to oh, get one like more dragon. Like this music on your end. This one's a bop right here. I like this one. Do, 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 do. Like this game has no right to have this good of music. Oh yeah. Absolutely no right. Thank God, because you'll spend hours. We're gonna spend hours here farming. But I mean hours, hopefully like an hour tonight. Uh -oh. Well, since we have so many new guests tonight, again, please make sure you follow both of my runners again. I at your pine spike Vegeta. We have to let y'all in on a little bit of the lore going on lately, okay? So I've been watching a lot of Iron Man lately on High Street. Like that's the thing I watch. Uh -huh. And I watch Spike during the day when you run Kingdom Hearts Key Rando and uh, Zooter. So folks want to know what's up with the cave thing. We've been seeing the cave thing all over in chat. I kind of roughly know what it is, but I feel like it was late at night and I kind of forgot what it was. So Pi, would you, you let people in on that meme? Because I have not the faintest clue what it's actually about. People talking about caves in the GDQ channel right now? Yeah, yeah, about pancakes and caves. And... Oh gosh, man, I just feel like <laughs> what are we, we've been we've been crafting the rule set. Is that I have a, a challenge mode called Iron Mon for Pokemon games, and we beat the challenge. And I wanted to make it more difficult. So we made up the ultimate Iron Mon. Very, you know, words <laughs> are powerful, and uh, the ultimate rule set says that like caves, which I would sound like Mount Moon or Rock Tunnel or Diglett Cave. You can you can only enter once. So if you go in the cave, you have to beat the cave and get out before and you can't go back to heal, which is a big deal in the challenge. Which started a conversation of well, what is a cave? And uh, now we have a we have a command in my chat that gives the definition of a cave based on, I don't know, Wikipedia or dictionary.com, I forget, but it's just a a paragraph from that. So that's what the, the cave meme is. So everyone was always asking, was this a cave? Is this a cave? Is is games done quick a cave? I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh we have, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it for Spike. That's for another time. That's for another time. Oh, okay. We're going to keep yeah. it safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Uh, I probably want to get. Oh, I've got like work? 600 dinosaurs. Get them oh, out of my gosh. deck. Uh, yeah, you need to go. You need to go. You need to go. So this is where like we start updating the deck finally to uh, have more synergy for creating our big dragons. So, are these all bad. These are um, all mystical elf. I don't know if you're still using mystical sand, but that's a good target because it's big beefy blocker. Not to say, yeah, the 2000. Unfortunately, we've just hit the part of the game where 2000 basically doesn't block anything. You need the twin headeds. Need the twin headeds. So at this point, I mean, I've got enough dragons in my deck. I'm just actually going to farm through this set of cards. So let's climb the ladder. 16 into 17 into 18, 15 into 2100. Well, what's your what's your dragon thunder count right now, Spike? I have four dragons, four thunders, and beast fangs. Gee, yeah, guy, I got very. I got an electric snake and a crawling dragon number two off of a old Rexy Pexy. Okay, so we will not be getting an appearance from Gumshoe tonight. Which, by the way, is Pie's dog. Put your Pie oh. bullies in chat if you got them. I'll put mine in. But uh, Gumshoe is an adorable English bulldog that Pie owns. But Pie closes the door, especially when doing like GDQ streams and stuff like that. So we probably will not get a Gumshoe appearance tonight. Maybe the I can pull him in before I, I head out. I could do something like that. 46 minutes. We got a twin and thunder dragon. Let's go, dude. Oh, you just got your first one? I just laid the first one on the board. Oh, so oh boy. This, uh, this duel can be a little annoying. His most annoying aspect is he can uh, drop a 3,000 level defensive monster on the field. Hopefully we don't see that. I do have a right decky in my hand if I need to take care of that. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, uh, lots of love for Gumshoe in the chat tonight. Oh, I appreciate boy. that. Man, I obviously, with, obviously, with 2020 being a thing, I was sad that I never got to see my uh, yearly dose of Gumshoe. Oh. I live close together now. I thought that was going to make a difference. Yeah. Was, we were like, oh, we're going to hang out this year and then go oh. see each other a bunch. I know all about that. Spike used to live two hours from me and never saw me in off. I feel heartbroken about that. What? I was two hours from you guys? You were at one point. Yes, you were. <laughs> I didn't know I was actually that close to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll plan a trip. 
Sounds good. I mean, I'm in the mountains. It's gorgeous where we are. Nukes and I have already been talking about, like, oh, whenever the world opens up, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do this, we're going to oh, do yeah. that. These people. I got to meet Gumshoe at some point. Invisible wire. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You should go A-Tech with that, dude. I, I am. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I, I, I'm about to uh, campaign a tech Pegasus. Wow, this guy over here. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a shot. You're it's gonna be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna try. It. I, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a shot because we're on the GDQ stage. So right now, I talked about how like depending on how you do in the duel, you'll get into different card pools. I'm gonna try for an alternative strategy where I get into a very uh, I basically take really long to win the duel. Uh, so let's take out the, let's take out you and you and put in you and you. Um, this probably will not work, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give Pi a shot to catch up because I'm going to spend like seven minutes trying to do this duel. <laughs> let's Pi see here. Like, I need, I'm gonna need to drop around. a five card combo. So 16. Cool. Uh, so 18, 18, 50, 20, 100. Okay. So I ideally want to see him go less than Bakuri Box, which is his common top monster at 2,300. Obviously, 2,100 would not get the job done. We'll see what happens. Everyone, cross your fingers. Let's see what happens. Going for card number three in his hand. Oh, that's got, that is a meteor black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chad, sometimes you gotta know when to fold him, and that's all the statement is. 400, I am ending this duel. <laughs> that is extremely rare. <laughs> so that's the card that we want to get in our playthrough to note. That would be really cool to see. But we're just gonna end that, and this is why you save, because that's now a game over if you lose anywhere in the campaign. Oh my god. <laughs> Yugi boy. Pegasus I'll... is so cheeky in this game. Shut up. Shut up, Pegasus. <laughs> oh my god. Literally oh. the top deck MBD. Oh my Maybe god. Maybe if you were Bo, that wouldn't have happened. I know, dude. I'm just I'm rocking deck D right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Despite... It was it was the fourth one in the alphabet. That's all I go by. <laughs> oh no. All right, I'm going to give it another shot, Chad. All right, so we're going to take a break in about, like, seven, eight minutes or so. Just just Perfect. so it's not a surprise when it happens, you know? Yeah. Perfect. When we, when we get back from the break and the timer started again, we're going to talk a little bit more about MoMam because, again, uh, not only do we have a live stream going on, but this will be on YouTube as well. So we want to make sure folks don't miss out on everything that is MoMam. So. What do we got this? All right, so we can make... Necogal and Mystical Sand. All right, we got the Beast Fangs. We're going to hold that. Uh, so let's just go a one, two, three up the scale. So one, two, three. So this will give me a Necogal because it's a female plus an animal. Then give that a rock. You got Mystical Waifu taking your Laifu, and there's more to it from there. Sitting on the field. Got a 2,100. All right. If you do it again. Okay. That is a defensive mode monster. Work with it. Work with it. A lot of waters in the hand. That's not great. Um, let's just uh, pop the three of you on the field. I just realized what the pie trash emote is right now. Oh, my God. That's so good. Oh. <laughs> Our boy, Peggy. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, no. Uh -oh. Cat, this isn't good. He is creating a twin-headed thunder dragon. All right, so Another. I have a counter wow. to that. Yeah, That's he's fantastic. being, Holy crap. He's being okay. incredibly rude. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that is uh, probably a rip. Uh, all right, game, I'm going to need you to cooperate. I'm going to need you to cooperate. I need, like, a Raigeki right now. Oh, there's no way. I might give this one more shot. Honestly, like... I would have been losing this duel anyway. So I guess I'll keep technically giving a shot. I'm just leaving the invisible wire in my deck. I land. Okay. We need to lose again. We need to lose again, Jack. We need our deck to draw. Our deck 
Sometimes the deck is not there for you, and that is what is going on right now. Pegasus is about to go 2-0 on us. Well, first of all, we had a fine enough monster on the field, but he pulled an MBD. Hmm. That's so where are you at at this point? I'm doing one more farm on Rex. I got two Thunders and a Dragon off of him, so I'm at four Thunders, one Dragon. So I might actually buy two Dragons, just in case. Ooh. I hate buying Dragons, but... Yeah, I mean, do you foresee an Isis farm at some point? I I still just buy Thunders. Like, I'll buy the six Thunders. I don't even care. I mean, obviously, it's up to you. I, I just need something to combine right now with my thunders. Perfect. I have four. I might. I'm gonna. I don't know. We'll see. I, if I grab one more dragon off of this this Rex, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. I, uh, it's so tough. I just hate wasting money on on dragons, dude. Yeah, I'm the same. And especially, honestly, your resources here in five card are so much less in that regard. Mm -hmm. Because you're not just gonna, you know, you're not gonna grind for hours. You're gonna grind for like an hour tonight. Yeah. Because we are trying to save Egypt tonight, actually. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to save. Only it. time will tell. Watch. This is actually a really good question. Uh, do the starships ever change in any, any of the mods? Someone was saying yeah. yesterday that there is a mod out there now that affects the. Um, oops. The affects the uh, number of star starships he gets, like doubled or something. Spike would probably know more, but that's what. That's I, what I actually don't. I didn't know if they'd actually made that or not, so that's cool to hear. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's cool because what most of the really good cards are the maximum amount of starships, which is mm -hmm. pretty annoying for them to do that in vanilla. Okay, I... we got another crawling dragon. That's perfect. Oh, and a laughing. Yeah. Okay, that was a good. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. So I we are probably. Rex. Not I'm gonna buy. Probably a dragon and the thunder now. And then I'm going to start doing what Spike's doing right now and try to go through the world tournament. There's a 15 by 15 mod. Okay. Because obviously this mod, uh, I originally had the idea for it. They're going to be uh, just a good time, obviously. Yeah, let's make an 1800 feet right here. Actually, let's go bada bing, bada boom, bada... Wait, no, let's not. Let's... Okay. You... Use with you. Okay, we're good. Um, I have the original concept of, is there a way to just, like, speed this up? Which I do appreciate that this was made just for the concept of it being able to more easily be shown on, like, stages like this, like GDQ and whatnot. Um, Say, so like, oh, yeah, just make it to where you get five cards instead. That just, like, speed up the grind, blah, blah, blah. And then people took that and they ran with it. The community was like, oh, we're going to make you go to, like, 15. And now you got 15 with more star chips and whatnot. Yeah. People are just trying to find ways to speed up the game a little bit. Um, what are, are you, you both, at 19? Are you both getting to a spot where maybe we can take a break soon? Maybe after this attempt that uh, Spike has? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to end this duel soon. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just taking the victory here. I'm not going to try to A-tech anymore. My cards weren't rolling out. Understandable. Kind of um, hard to do on Pegasus. Yeah, the cards just weren't rolling out very easily. You need to do a lot to get an A-Tech. You need to fuse like a ton and whatnot, so. I could try to do it. Uh, I think it's going to be a long duel for no payoff, though. Oh, I don't know. Like, what monsters are you laying out? 1,600? What, is he going to... Is he going to lose to my dude? I've got 7,900. Like, a, a laundry list of things I got to do is I got to get under 7,000 life points. I have to get four effective attacks on them. Bye. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll poke around with this. We'll poke around with it. Maybe drop a little 1,800 action right now. Yeah. Actually, we're even going to do this. Bam. Yeah, you got a chance here, Spike. Go for it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. And then I want to bump that off because I want a weaker monster on the field. Yeah, let's hit him. I want to do a certain amount of effective attacks where I had deal life point damage to him when his monster is in attack mode. Like, there's so much to do. I have to make sure a trap goes off, quick goes off, a field spell slash right deck, one of those goes off. I'm under 7,000 life points, so that's good. Okay, invisible wire. We can make this work. Good, this is good. 
Yeah, Garoon. it's nice not to see that on the bottom of your deck, Spike. Yeah, because there's only one of those. So that was like part of the fear of like making this work at all. I feel like at the end of this, we're going to take a while. We're going to get Pi a shot, but then I'm not going to have 1,500. Or I will have not done 50. You... So we'll see. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. We'll just give it a big old shot and see what happens. Um, 21 and then bump it off. That's two more fusions added to mine. Put another card down. Uh, another thing you want to make sure you do when you're going for this A-Tech is you want to clear their side of the field every single time. If you do not clear his field, the AI will want to always put a monster down. If you don't clear that side of the field, then he will decide to uh, instead uh, use Raigeki and completely clear your field, and that's not good. Bolt Escar go, use, use my... Uh, Equip card, that's good. Get rid of another one of these idiots. So he's got 1,600 life points left. Hopefully he lays out a big enough monster. I actually don't know. I'll probably place down. Okay, that's perfect. That's a big enough monster to where I'm not going to kill him. I also need to make sure I only have three cards left on my side of the field. Put down the ride Geki for now. Okay. such an unusual way to win. It is. But this hopefully will get me into a card pool. Again, I don't think it's going to get there, but I'll give it a shot. This will hopefully get me into a, a better card pool, though. Um, Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, wow. um, so this will leave three cards left in my deck, but I don't. I use the Beast Fangs. I'm using the right Geki. I haven't used the Mountain, so that's something I need to kind of hold out for here. Clear that card. I figured it had to be small. What are you doing? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm actually glad he's doing that. Yeah, let me use the mountain. Oh, this really fell into place for you. I'm glad you gave this a try. Yeah, I'm giving it a shot. We'll see what happens. And this will kind of work <laughs> out, I guess, we'll get us right to the one hour mark. Yeah. This would be yeah. If I were to do this in the campaign, that would be sick. I don't think it'll work. Um, yeah, let's leave. Okay, so let me use these two cards. Let me actually just clear you off so that you don't get potentially attacked afterwards. That means I'll have access to all my cards. Uh, Sky, do you think I did 15 fusions? Like it. We'll see if the game thinks so, though. That's the more <laughs> important thing, Spike. We'll see if the coding of the game thinks we did it or not. All right. All right. So, bam. Uh, let's go 16, 17, 18, 50. That's three more fusions. Cat, I need your energy. I just want to see, even if I get no good cards from this, I just want to see I did. Hmm. Yeah, don't forget that, Spike. Yeah, the Raigeki actually wouldn't have, like, added anything. That was there more for safety. All right, I need four stars. I want to see an A rank here. Megamorph! Mega two Megamorphs! Two oh, Megamorphs! What? My oh, God. my gosh! Spike, congratulations! Are you kidding me? Well, I just want to say congratulations to Spike <laughs> on winning today's race, dude. Oh my God. All right, are we good to go to a break, y'all? Oh, we are very good to go to a well, break. Let me just finish right. this fight real quick. All right, all right, all right. Just, just let me know. Spike is Spike's winning anyways. That's. I'm sorry. I, I would no, like to apologize. Uh, <laughs> I am so sorry for what just happened. Hey, Pi still got a chance here. Don't count yourself out, Pi. You can do the same oh, thing. Oh, he should count himself out. I am not out. a tech. <laughs> I would need to get an item to a tech, and then I'd have to do it as well. Like I said, let me just finish this fight. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness, dude. <laughs> I can't believe Spike is RNG manipulating in five card. Unbelievable. What <laughs> double <laughs> All right, let's see what Mai gave me in her pack. 
<laughs> Maya, I need you to find Megamorphs somewhere there. I got a Beaver Warrior. Yeah, yeah. Lord of the Lamp. <laughs> All right. Pie All getting right. punished for bad All food. Right. So if y'all want to coordinate the staff of the timer here, uh, count down for me from three. I'm just going to yeah. save real quick. Just save. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't want to lose my beaver warriors that I just got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Alright, I'm ready to go. Alright. All right. Three, two, one, pause. Alright, so before we go to our break, folks, remember that your subs, gift subs, Amazon Prime subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel help support our weekly hot mix content. Thank you so much for supporting our shows. If you have missed any of the events from AGDQ 2021 online or want to watch any previous hot fix shows, you can go to youtube.com slash games done quick to uh, check out our archive of our live shows. And with that, everybody get up and stretch. We'll be right back with I Eat Your Pie and Spike Vegeta on Random Number Generation. Welcome back to Random Number Generation. I am joined here by I Eat Your Pie and Spike Vegeta of MoMam6 fam, and this is Forbidden Memories 5 Card Mod. Are y'all ready to keep going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just so excited <laughs> to go after Spike got two Mega Force. <laughs> <laughs> what a way. Count. That is like, you're about to go to, you know, you're about to go to the locker room. You're almost done with the first quarter, literally what we just did. And I throw a 99 yard Hail Mary. <laughs> it was like tied. It was like tied going into the third quarter, man. And then now it's like you scored three touchdowns on in right. five seconds. I somehow man. threw a 200 yard touchdown pass. Are y'all ready to go, by the way? Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Do it. All right, let's unpause in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Okay. So I have a 3,800 twin-headed thunder dragon on the field. <laughs> Turn one. Yeah, and me too. Right now, me Isis too. is me like, too. what me did too. I do wrong? Same, same. Um, right. Sure, invisible wire. So, I don't know whose turn it is to talk about Momam 6, but let's talk about the reason why we're here in Momam 6. It's out. Mike's turn. I talked about it last time. <laughs> let's talk about Momam you know 6. So. I, I'm making a rule. Spike's hugely in the lead. He has to talk about it the rest of the night. I need to focus uh. on catching up right now. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah, okay. I tell you what, my boy Starboy, he'll go on the field. I'll somehow trip this trap. This is such a stupid idea. Um, yeah, what's up, guys? I'm Spike Vegeta. That's I Ate Your Pie. Our names are on the card. You can see them right there. But we are uh, uh, getting our, our, we're very lucky that our dear friend uh, and cohort in the speedrunning community. Uh, Skybills has decided to have us on for so many shows recently. We're even going to be back on tomorrow as well. Um, we are uh, performing uh, a event in March called Month of Mushrooms and Mayhem 6. Because as it is, it is the sixth year we'll be doing it in a row. Uh, every March, we like to put on different races and challenge runs of all sorts of different games. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of those we have done in the past. Um, I uh, I won last year, uh, or two years ago, the last time I guess we played this, and I'm dominating right now. But if you want to see all this trash talk come to a head, you can watch both of our channels starting March 1st. We're kicking it off with uh, Mario Party 3 Super Hard Mode, or Super Hard, Mario Party 3 Just Hard Mode, uh, coming up uh, starting on March 1st. It should be an absolute blast. You can also fill out prediction forms to predict who you think is going to win each of those days. And uh, in addition to bragging rights, you also will be entered in to win the ultimate gamer package, the ultimate prize. That being, real quick, let me see what cards I got. I did not get, okay. I got a Blackline Fire Dragon, that's cool. Um, you can get a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, a Nintendo Switch, any six games of those for those three consoles of your choice and a $69 gift card to Taco Bell. That's the best Go part. fill out your brackets today. Put in the command uh, exclamation point, uh, what, uh, RNG, RNG. Mm -hmm. and uh, that'll tell you everything you need to know. And now everyone calm down because we're about to listen to the biggest banger in this game. We got Seno here in the World Tournament, the final duelist of the World Tourney. I've got two Megamorphs. I feel pretty good going into it. Get out your your music, bop, jam, etc. emotes because it's about to get real in here music-wise. It's about to get real. 
this boat is real. Oh, shoot. I messed that combo up. Rip. I've done that already a couple times tonight. We find passes in between when we play this game. Um, yeah, these are all bad. I'm just going to... So, for the fusions we're trying to create, we're trying to get... Obviously, a dragon always has to be involved in some way in the twin-headed thunder dragon combo. For the most part, you're just trying to make a dragon that is at least 1,600 attack and then slap a thunder onto that, and that ups it to a 2,800. This is the good stuff. Here we go. So sad we only get this track once in the game. Hi, I thought I'd have to get the cuss jar out on you for a second there. No, 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 no. I'm keeping it clean. <laughs> Which I know your stream uh, takes inventory of as well. <laughs> That's a goal of mine for 2020, trying to be better about my words. So, <laughs> or 2021, I should say. Well, based on our last uh, Road to Mobam race, I feel but like I, I, I just I started this last week. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it wasn't the entire year. <laughs> You know, here's so a lot of some real talk here on the stream. I actually want to do the same because um, I just found out recently that my two nieces found my channel. They're both in the single digits of ages, and I want them to still look up to me as a good role model. <laughs> <laughs> so we might have to make Spike Vegeta and Spike Vegeta After Dark. <laughs> because I love them, and I want their mother to let <laughs> Let them keep watching. Oh my gosh, this music is so good. It really is, though. Yeah, and this game has no right to have as many bangers as it does. I Steve told folks, I want to program the song into Magic Arena, and so when folks face me, they get this song instead of the normal music. <laughs> it's so good. Dang that. Yeah, okay. If we can get any more dragons, Seto drops a lot of dragons. We would like more of those to make our deck just more consistent. Baby dragon, Blackland fire dragon, Yamatano dragon scroll. That's pretty good. Dragons. Where are my dragons right now, dude? Come on. You have any? I thought you only had like one. A three. Thank oh. you. Thank um, you very much. Guess this. So that ends the world tournament portion of the game for me. What duel are you on? Uh, I think I'm beating Bandit Keith right now. Okay. So Pi is only about five duels behind. This is the point of the game where... Do I even have to? <laughs> this is where you would farm the second to last duelist, Isis, because she'll give you dragon treasures and uh, dragons, potentially a widespread ruin. I I think I might skip that. I think you should just honestly go MBE. Like, if you're going to farm something. Yeah, no, I'm th that's MBE. what I'm thinking. Like, if I was lower on dragons, but, like, I'm kind of... Like, nine dragons is fine. So yeah, this is nine? the portion of the game before we basically go get our Pokemon gym leader battles on. So this is a lot of just progressing the plot up until then. What were you going to say, Sky? Well, I was going to say, I think you're good on equips. You just really need some big creatures now, like MVD. Yeah. Make the deck more consistent, because I have four Thunders right now, which, like, four Thunders is fine for this moment. I just need star chips that will allow me to buy at least, to, like, six Thunders. And then also be able to just have potentially some bigger monsters. So I'm actually... This is... Yeah, this is, like, so huge. That was ridiculous. We got to I y'all just saw some like one in a thousand luck right there. Legitimately, that was ridiculous. Getting those two mega morphs, and they were legitimately cards one and two. Like that's campaign mega morph on vanilla. I can't believe uh, that. It doesn't make me feel any better, Spike. It really like doesn't. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> so normally this is the part of the game where yeah, you'd be like, oh, maybe I'll farm Isis. See if I can get a widespread ruin. Uh, you know, go face off. Farm a Pegasus like we did back there. And uh, he'll give us... Yeah, I'm going to 
Let me get rid of both of you and you. Well, in favor of you, you, and you. Yeah. My deck isn't ready. Oh, did I take out too many cards? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's because I already had three Black Land Fire Dragons. All right, let's put in Psychic Cap. <laughs> Um, I, I missed that. That sounds um, like a good problem to have, Spike. Right, I had too many dragons. Um, I'll play for the BCD here for the Dark Energy, because why not? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know, Jazz. It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I want six Thunders. I would like just bigger monsters in general, so I'll make some plays for Meteor Black Dragon. But, uh, yeah. So you're going to see me now try to get into... You see me try to beat the Duelist quickly, having enough cards left in my deck, and I don't take too much damage, stuff like that. You've seen me take a long time to defeat them. I am now going to go for the middle strat, the BCD strat. Uh, we're just trying to take an average amount of time, and that will allow you me to potentially get a dark energy here. If I get a campaign dark energy, I... I I mean, I already feel bad, but that would give me four <laughs> equips and make my deck very consistent going into final battles. Because this is the farming portion where your deck is probably already good enough to where you could go through the middle portion of the game, but you will not beat the finals. You have to farm somewhat. I don't know. Two Mega Morphs is pretty dang good. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, normally, <laughs> you would have to. Like, we got literally what I would consider, like, world record vanilla luck. They're like, yeah, they did the campaign. They got Megamorph. They're good to go. And they just try to rush through and hope they can get final six, like, first or second try. World record without RNG population, I suppose. Um, yeah, and then this should be enough. That should be the BCD play. You see, I'm doing a lot more fusions than are necessary, so I'm not trying to end the duel immediately. Are we doing RNG manipulation? No. We also have no idea. I also, to be like, not to talk down on that, there are certain speed games, and I don't know how you feel about it. You might be similar. There are certain speed games where I'm like, I want it to be an RNG, like, X. And just, like, that's kind of what I'm signing up for. That's all these mm -hmm. random Pokemon things we do, Yu-Gi-Oh!, you know, randomizers like Zooter and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You're not looking for something to be, like, super consistent. Oh, you already know how I feel about Forbidden oh. Memories, man. I love yeah. the RNG factor, man. Yeah. That's what so, we're signing up for. So, Spike, here you go. Uh, this is from the chat. Spike, but if you're interested to know that the odds of double Megamorph are actually almost exactly one out of a thousand or one out of 1,024, to be precise. Yeah, that sounds right. Now, that has to also be multiplied by... It's five opportunities at about a 1.5% chance, and I hit on two of the five. So I don't know if people also did that. It's probably, yeah, roughly in that, like, one one in a thousand RNG. I'll just watch. And the fact that we got it in the campaign, we didn't have to, like, go back and farm. Yeesh. I'm going to go back and save, and then we'll go to my boy Meadow Mage. Yeah, the biggest problem with my deck right now, I'm not going to have any widespread ruins, it looks like. Which is a good card to have, but I'm not going to bother trying to farm for it at this point. Um, and I, again, I need at least two more Thunders. Dragons, ten dragons, you're fine. You can make ten dragons work very easily. All right. So now we have got to go around and get... Our Pokemon gym leaders, we got to beat them up. They each have one precursor trainer, one duelist that you got to take out. And then you can face them. You have to defeat both of them in a row to make it work, though. Um, yeah, I think it's time we just full-on convert over. So, goodbye, you, you, and you. Anything else? Uh, do I? No, I'm going to take out the Invisible Wire, put in the Kamori Dragon. Uh, Mechanical Chaser is actually switch this up. I could. Yeah, I don't think you go for spellcaster strats. Yeah, that's all of those. I'm just going to go a bunch of waters here. Oh, I'm going to go with just I'm going to go with you. 
Baker and Cheryl. There we go. Hey, yeah, Cheryl, sure, what's up? Where are my cards, dude? <laughs> I need one of my four dragons to appear right now. How about GDQ? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, tell her I said, hey. Can I go? Can I go help my wife with something real quick? I needs the time, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just tell her I said, hey. Oh, okay, yeah, I will. I'll be right back. Chat, root on pie for me. <laughs> go pie. Hey, it's me. It is you. What's up? I am. We're, we're, we're just having fun. Today's now. <laughs> today has gone from a racing spike to having fun, you know? Like, I, 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 I am I am accepting my fate to Megamorphs. Sometimes it be like that, as they say, and uh, we'll be fine. You know, we're just we're having a good time. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be hanging out with, with you and Spike here on, on the Hot Fix, talking about Forbidden Memories 5 card and a little MoMam action as well. We're, we're having a good time here. No complaints for me. Honestly, yes. that was perfect. <laughs> Anybody who might be watching my said, hey? Oh, here, let me go back. Y'all get pie more time. Just like, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's not great. <laughs> um, yeah, pie. What's up with this board state right now? I couldn't pull a dragon, so um, we had to burn cards, and they were Bakura was not attacking. So, but we're gonna take that out now. This is why. This is where Regeki comes in. Had I used Dark Hole, we would have, we would have lost, we would have lost our, our twin headed here. Hey, Rykaru is here. Rykaru says, "All right, I got an offer for Pi. I'll book it on over with my memory card from last night's race." <laughs> Speaking of Dark Hole, <laughs> Bakura just said, "We're starting over." Which I'm fine with, honestly, at this point. And yeah, yes. yeah, Rai, come on over here. I need that really badly right now. <laughs> <You could> just <laughs> like, hurry up right now. I'd, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, uh, Nuke says hi friend? back. Aww. It was very nice of her. All right, so I am going to, you know, I just want to go for the farm on him real quick. It feels really weird thinking I'll skip farm two. Yeah, that is an odd thought, isn't it? I guess in five card mod though, anything's possible. Like this has never happened before. <laughs> like it's it still doesn't happen. Like that's donkey. 15, 27 billion, 1850. Let's go for yeah. Let's do this. Uh, I'm. You know, my 21 prediction... and 28 is 49. Yeah, this is this is exactly lethal. All right. My prediction. All right, chat. If we truly want to break the internet right now, get your hands in the air. Oh we need that classic tr 20. We need a Trent right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say off. NBD, dude. I was like, come on, man. No, I got a Gaia the Fierce Knight. That's, that's good. Crawling dragon. That's great for farming. Yeah, uh, that's actually, I'm going to return. So I could have kept going. If I go back in, I'll have to face him again. But I actually want to keep the crawling dragon, and I just want to go far. I uh, had my um, not my prediction on Pi, and I feel kind of bad now because <laughs> I really want to win that uh, Taco Bell gift card. <laughs> well, yeah, so to know thankfully, the predictions do not count the Road to Momam games. There are <laughs> they're not on there, so you're good. You're still in the running. We haven't started. My pet will be in the game, and his RNG will be in the game. I have Pi down for Duelist of the Roses. You better not let me down there. I, yeah. you know, it's funny you should say that because I told Chat if you want a free prediction win, you should pick Spike for Duelist of the Roses. <laughs> you you played through it pretty quickly though. I saw when you were yeah. I just Spike. Uh, this is the thing I'll say about Spike. Spike is really good at remembering things from like years ago. We did a Banjo-Kazooie race mm -hmm. one year for MoMam. And I don't even think he played it. He just, wa he had, it was like eight or nine months earlier had done a Banjo-Kazooie race for his speeder underground. And yeah. he destroyed me. And I, we had raced it before and I had beaten him like by probably like an hour or so. And he just dumpstered me. So I, anything, any game where we have both played, but it's been a while, I, I'm almost always giving to Spike. He's just, he's, he's very good at that kind of stuff. 
We'll see. I don't know. Pi definitely turned the corner this past year, I will say. Uh, taking me out in like the Super Mario All-Stars we did. We had a That's ton true. of cool stuff on the schedule. I want to ask you guys, anybody who might have the schedule, if you're looking through it, what all we're going to be playing this year. What is the number one game that you're looking forward to that we're going to be racing this month? We try to make sure every year that we make more and more toss-ups. We feel like either one of us could take any of the races. And there were even games last year, Pi plays a lot of Pokemon. There was no way I was ever going to beat him in Pokemon Stadium. I, I agreed with people on that regard. I somehow beat Pi at Pokemon Stadium last year. I'm really good at 2D platformers. There's no way Pi was going to beat me in Super Mario All-Stars. But that man played a bunch of Super Mario Brothers 35. It's just been playing Mario Maker stuff in general. Took me down, destroyed me in Super Mario All-Stars. Well, Spike, the offer's still on the table. We got a few days before Momam 6 starts. If you want Mental Rando 2, I just did some of it again last night. So. Yeah, that's actually one of the games I'm going to be prepping over the next week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be prepping... I never thought I'd say this. Risk two. Yo, that's for the events. So that should be a blast. Oh, did he really top deck a shield? Did he cost me my SA pal? I but, um, I can't draw cards today, man. I just can't. I need a dragon. Just what? give me one dragon card game. Come on. Any dragon. If you do Stadium Two, Spike, I'd be happy to join you and talk you through it because. Yes, I would love someone to show me the ropes. I would do it. I've been working on it quite a bit lately. I got to Rocket Bridge in a buck 44 last night, and I was it's super proud bad. of myself. <laughs> I have so many Blackland Fire Dragons. Here, let me Venmo them over to Pi. This is like Can you Venmo? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Can you Venmo the Megamorphs too? I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you gift 10 subs to my community <laughs> right now, I'll leave one of my Megamorphs in the box. Unbelievable. No this deal, dude. I'm going to beat you fair no and square. No deal. Man. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I would have done it, Jack. I would have done it. We cut deals like this all throughout the month. It's great. And Pi always turns them down. I'm like, such a nice guy. Spike's like, here, you can have the extra gloves. I don't need them because they're getting sweaty. <laughs> like, my deck would still be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. This is so bad. Oh, gosh. Uh, Finally, a dragon. He has Regeki, right? Uh, what's his face? Pegasus? Yeah, you got Megamorphs off of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the Gex. Uh, Gex, right. I am your pie's favorite 90s video game. As it turns out, <laughs> no, everyone not. asks. Everyone asks me every year. You guys oh, ever got new decks? And I'm like, first of all, why do no. you care? No. What I would like to see out of y'all, because I know there's a lot of fans here in chat. I want to see y'all do uh, the same animals that keys are under the GDQ oh. that one year. Oh god, no. we've actually That's never to... brought up animals. Mm. That's for keys. I had to, considering. Uh, I made a huge uh, mistake. Oh, dark I magician. Forgot. Dark Magician can be good bad. for the farm right here. Let me check. I'm assuming I can buy another card real quick. Oh, 43. Oh, oh I can. Oh, I... By the way, live deals are okay while Pi and Spike are on. Maybe not during Mercy Kill with the timer. That's the only place where I won't. But if they want to do live deals tonight, that's fine. Oh, I forgot, dude. Crawling Dragon with Robot turns into... Oh, robot the big Cybersaur is now. Yeah, I forgot. Is. No, baby daddy pancake. Yeah. Uh, we lost. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, you boy. Uh, all right, that's fine. Pegasus, we'll get him next time. Yeah, no good cards so far in these 10 here. I mean, like, I should. Oh, I should oh, oh it's so rough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Someone says dude, he has a better keyser on. Niece. I ain't getting good cards anymore. <laughs> Who has a better keyser on impression, Pi or Spike? I'd say right now, if we were assessing, probably Pi. Oh, man. <laughs> Golly. Pi has become a master of, and, like, don't take this the wrong way, of the why. <laughs> It's so good on pie side. I love it. <laughs> it's like genuinely the best wine on Twitch. It's so genuine. Jack, <laughs> does anyone agree with me? It's the best wine on Twitch. I love it. What, it kills me, dude. 
No, I didn't. When I was introduced to pie, it wasn't a wine. It was a scream at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, like, uh, a legit, like, we, Oz and I thought something was going on around us, and it just scared the heck out of us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When he lost his character in uh, RuneScape there, one of his permadeath characters, that was the first time I ever got introduced to pie, and you don't forget it. The first time you watch <laughs> pie, you don't forget it. Something always will happen during that stream, y'all. Okay, I can make, I can make a dragon. We're good. Oh, man. You gotta, you have to agree with me. You are contractually obligated to agree with me on this one. I think it's really good. It gives me, it, it gives me life, dude. It's so good. Pi <laughs> does have the best I'll reactions. I'll tell you what. It's, what? it's crafted from playing a lot of garbage challenge things like <laughs> rental rando and iron lawn like this, it's built in the flames dude <laughs> you put yourself through the gauntlet every single day on twitch and you, you learn how to be mad at a video game that's all i'll say <laughs> i just know one of my favorite part i'm not for pie honestly but as a viewer watching pie play iron Man, is when something really happens to his main Pokemon, especially if it's named Bob, okay? Because you always know if something bad's gonna happen to poor Bob. And, uh... Our boy. <laughs> and, and it's like something bad happens, he yells, but then, like, something bad happens immediately after. It's like someone turned the knob from, like, 3 to 10, and you just can feel that amplified <laughs> despair. And you just know, then, that you're in Pi Street. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is This is such a great selling point. Yeah, come over to my stream and you're gonna be writing about video games for a long, long time. You're gonna love it here. If you like hearing someone get mad at a video game, oh, I got it's not a for you. chat. Type one in chat if you love hearing people get mad at a video game. Why do you think we have viewers? I, I get mad for our jobs. Oh man. Pie, I'm sorry. This is the good associations I have with you. This is why I watch you. I, it wasn't enough that the game was kicking me down. Spike <laughs> and Sky are now kicking me down as well. That's what? fine. I'm doing that every night. You just say I'll back. take my cold burritos and I'll enjoy <laughs> them. And I'll, I, and I'll take his color and look at his me. blanket. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> People in Twitch chat acting like it's got a little bit of shot in front. I've seen more kidding? ones than two, Spike. That's all I'm saying. So many ones. I love to so see So many it. ones. Oh, you know what? Pegasus gave me a dragon, Spike, so we're even, all right? You got what? too many. No, more. he's no. not a baby dragon. A literal baby dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, meanwhile, I have a Megamorph Bolt S card go. You ever want a BM on your race partner? In uh, Forbidden Memories, everyone, put a Megamorph on the worst monster. <laughs> Literally, Megamorph like a Griggle and feel good about yourself. <laughs> That's right. He's a 1350 now. Oh, oh my god. Put goodness. two on him. <laughs> That's really why I'm here. I want to get a Trent. Yeah. So I can double Megamorph him and make him an MBD. <laughs> Pi's got the laughing point emotes. He doesn't have a right to say that he doesn't he doesn't appreciate when someone does that to him, all right? That's that's null and void They're after seeing that combo. Yeah, if people combine those emotes for for that, then yeah, you're right. I, trend! I can't, I can't trend! Argue on Let's this one. go, dude! I got a trend! <laughs> Let's the, go, dude! It's like the blast race want. kid. I only get Trent when I'm racing five, by the way. Oh I've my gosh. No, I've I, never seen him when it's not racing I can't five. breathe right now. These two make me laugh so what? much over the course of this. I have to mute my mic half the time, so I just oh. don't obnoxiously laugh the whole time. Oh my gosh, I have to show the animation. Oh. Are you showing the animation right now? Oh, I'm showing the heck out of this animation. Are you kidding me? First time I see Trent, the animation's coming out. I gotta remember it's on the second, it's on the second card start. But, oh my god. Oh, what am I doing? Why didn't I put him in Moon? Okay, Moon's back. Oh, okay, he's done. That is our boy. Where's that? Ah, we don't see a Trent yet. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, female plus rock.
We're gonna animate the bull. Because <laughs> we got four hours to fill and my deck's too good. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dad, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just pull back the curtain. If I wanted to, I could have beaten the game like this out. <laughs> Didn't go for it, man. I don't care. I, whoa, whoa. No, we need to come back, back to the last two short. hours with me playing the game. It's fine. This is perfect. Oh, my land, baby. This is why. Well, we're on a Sogan team. Oh, that's true. God, stop top decking your Millennium Shields, you idiot. You big dingus. Oh, wow. Poop balls. Uh, well, this is just, this is awful, actually. Well, we're right. Okay, this is the Trent poll, then. This is, we're, we're going down to the Trent animation. Oh, cool. I did 200 points. Little Duelist of the Roses. We are going to have Duelist of the Roses. It's like the seventh or eighth day of the month. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a bid war, actually. We do a lot of bid wars throughout the month. Got to Adventure DX. You can decide which characters. Just everyone get out of my hand. We're looking for Trey. Um, you guys can decide uh, which of the stories we play in Sonic Adventure DX, like any three of them. Uh, we have a crowd control bid war in there. Uh, Undertale's going to have a bid war in there. Lots of really, really cool stuff. Um, and also one of the bid wars is deciding whether we go down the hero path or the villain path or whatever it's called. Tools for the Roses. Because we both played that game last year for incentives, and we both liked that video game a lot, actually. Yeah, it was fun. I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed okay. that game. Good one. So, the hard-hitting question here since we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! What do I have to do to get one or both of you to play Arena? <laughs> it's not like the official game, like you're actually yeah. playing with humans. Yeah. Uh, I, this is as far as I go. <laughs> I, I feel like this is the, I, I, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. Yeah. I played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid, but... Uh, I know? was talking about Magic Arena, but... Oh, Yu -Oh! Magic Arena! Uh, yeah. Wow. Dude, that's its own thing. I'm convinced Magic... Like, I, it's cool that you are able to find the time to get that done. Oh, I absolutely have to. That's my job. I play yeah, yeah, yeah. Team. Like, that, that's becoming your main thing. I think that's super sick because I loved Magic as a kid. But, uh, yeah, I feel like it, it's kind of the next thing. Like, I have so many friends from the community who they got, they all were speedrunners and then they played FF14 and it was over. <laughs> we never heard from them again. Ever. Yeah, let's go. You know what? I'm just going to go for the joke. I just want to see Pod, both of you experience frustration. The same frustration that I experience daily in Magic Arena. It would be cathartic to feel that because <laughs> I I have my days with that thing sometimes. Oh, I'm sure. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're going into the def defensive position. Let's go. Damn soldier, get out there. I say, how's it been going recently for you? How's, how's the magic treating you up? Oh, pretty good. Um, I just completed my double mythic for an entire year, which I don't know if too many people have done that, so that's been pretty fun. Um, but yeah, not, not too, too many complaints, I don't think. Uh, I still get mad at it daily, but if you're not getting mad at the game. <laughs> right. But I don't know. I don't know. What Are you even really with. playing it at that point? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I, I deal with that, and that's why I got to watch you all. You know, Spike during the day and Pi at night. I need to laugh after going through that. Like. After the frustration <laughs> game. Yeah. Completely understandable. Uh, let's just... Man. Some of these top decks are... Uh, Chad, I don't want to farm for too much longer here. I'm mainly just trying to get some star chips to buy at least the sixth thunder. I would have liked a little bit more of a payout for doing all of this. But, I mean, we got trained. Like, that's all that really... Let's face it, at the end of the day, All we're right. taking trouble. Finally got the tournament done. Jeez. Well, congrats. I'm only in the, the right. farm, too. You're good. Okay, I got two dragons off of that, too. Okay, cool. But that's why I bring up the, the even if it's frustrating for y'all, that is such stream content when, like, we see you get frustrated with, like, a major hurdle or a major challenge, mm -hmm. and it's like, we know how that feeling is. So for us as viewers, that's, like, fun to watch. That's why you saw all the ones in the chat earlier, because we're going through so much of our own stuff, we need to see that, you oh, know? absolutely. 
Uh, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to use the Thunderbolt. Go away. Wow. That was really rude to say, this guy. Oh, I yeah. Die. I know. I thought about wow. that. Wow, care. Care. <laughs> wow, bud. Wow, buddy. <laughs> I know. The timing of that. You ever just, like, time your words really poorly? I know what you mean, Spike. It's all right. <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> I was like, oh, no, dude. I enjoyed our friendship. I wanted to keep it. <laughs> All right, crawling dragon, get out there. Get of our boy. We need to get out of the lab again, yes. <laughs> yes. I don't uh, think that's an essay power. I think we took too much life point damage. You I have mean, to defeat him within like two or three times. Oh, that's a curse of dragon. Yo, our boy Brachio Radius. That's the oh. same, that's the same luck as a Trent or a uh or an MBD. But that's it. good though! Did you know you could combine Curse of Dragon and Gaia the Fierce Knight to form Gaia the Dragon Champion? I know. <laughs> it somehow becomes worse. It's really bad. Uh, curse and Gaia. Yeah, let's put them both in. I need some stonks right now is what Pi needs. Pi needs like a MVP. I need a lot of stonks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, so he didn't name his profile Bob. I think it's Bo, but like the essence no, is there. Is fine. It's Bob. It's Bob. Oh, it is Bob. Bob, does it that. feel like doing Bob? No. <laughs> I yeah, guess Pi asked for I don't think I'm having bad luck. I got good starting equips and, and good dragon thunder count. Spike just hit the jackpot. That's just basically yeah. what it came down to. Although, I mean, if I get an MBD on on Meadow Mage, there's a world, man. There's a world. Yeah, yes. yep, yep, yep. So for perspective, Stonks was the name of uh, the Pokemon that Pi used to conquer the original Iron Mon challenge. It was a, it was a mighty whale lord, and uh, that Pokemon did some work for Pi. I can maybe slow this one down and still get in the SA pool. SA pool is the only pool on Meadow Mage where you can get meet your Black Dragon. And even then, it's another, it's kind of like the Mega Morph. It's like a 1% chance. Give myself a few shots of that before I just use these star chips to buy myself a couple of thunders. We're good to go. I do want to note, we are over 5,000 viewers right now. So I want to thank everyone on chat for being here for the special random number generation episode of the MoMAM 6 preview brought to you by I Eat Your Pie and Spike Vegeta. Very much appreciate that. For more information on MoMAM 6, please go exclamation point RNG and please follow both of the runners as MoMAM will take place on both of their channels. And if y'all want to just briefly run over MoMAM, I believe that's Spike's job now for the rest no, of the No, no, I got, I got this one. I got this one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I got this one, man. You just keep uh, focusing on finishing that race, man. Uh, no, so MoMAM is a yearly event that myself and Spike Vegeta, who I am racing with today, put on where we race various games throughout the month of March. It's a lot of fun. It's the two of us building off the energy that you already are experiencing on this what last hour and a half. It's a month of that, basically. So it's a, a fun, good time. Everyone's enjoying themselves. And we're just playing through a bunch of games and goofing off a lot. Starts March 1st, the first game of the schedule. If you want more information, again, you can put in the command RNG. Go to streambig.net slash momam6. All the information in terms of the schedule, uh, the prizes, and all the different things that we're doing are going to be there. But it starts March 1st. We're going to be, you know, it, it, you might, it, this might be weird, but me and Spike really like bad luck games. We're going to be doing Mario Party <laughs> 3 story mode yes. and on hard mode, which is... The last time it took us like, I don't know, eight to 10 hours. Sometimes, sometimes you get stuck on chilly waters for four hours. Like just ask Spike about that, you know? Sometimes oh oh yeah. But we're there was a year that. I did not get past that point. It was great. I, this, I believe this year it's gonna this happen, Spike. Year, it'll do it, yeah. <laughs> so we've got games like that. We've got games from, you know, PC, Sony, obviously a lot of Nintendo stuff. That's what we do. Pokemon, Mario, Zelda all of that but this year we're also doing every year we do something that we call basically the march madness of, of gaming where you get to pick who you think is going to win each of the races along with a few side bets and this year we've like really really up the the prize package if you predict the most correct so if you go in and you fill out the form 
and you you somehow predict the most correct, you're going to be walking away with an insane ultimate gamer package is what Spike and I are calling it. So you get, if you predict the most, you get a PlayStation 5, you get an Xbox Series X, you get a Nintendo Switch, you also get six games of your choice. So you're you're locked in for a lot of gaming for the rest of the year. And you get a $69 gift card to Taco Bell. So you're good to go. 2021, I mean, do you need anything else for 2021 if you have those three systems? I uh, that it, dude. Yeah. So we've got to go from here. so bored to be like, I I I can't do this. It's too we much. are we are at 3,340 entries, which is nuts. Wow. We we had 3,400 at the end of Moment Five. So that means we are 60 away, 60 away from eclipsing last year's total. If we could do that by the end of tonight, that would be six. Can we get 60 people to fill this out? Fill in your predictions. You can win an awesome prize. Also, we're going to be giving away a lot of other small prizes along the way just by filling it out throughout the month. So if you're interested in that, again, it takes about five to 10 minutes. If you want to do your own research, again, you have real, you, you can fill it out throughout the entire month, but the longer you wait, the less opportunities you have to get correct predictions. But yeah, if we can get to 3,400 tonight, that would be sick. Put in the command RNG, click that prediction form and uh, fill it out and you'll tune in on March 1st and start following along. It's going to be a good time. And also too, we're going to be back here tomorrow night. There will be more MoMAM previews with Pie and Spike. We're going to be doing SM64 120 star right here on Mercy Kill. And oh there's boy. a little more at stake there. They are going to be going up against the timer. It's going to be a good time. And after that, Pie will enter the peanut gallery with myself. And we will both laugh at Spike as he attempts to run Donkey Kong Country. I fall in so many good. pits for getting what I'm doing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've enjoyed I that show a lot. Bit there, that'll be very, very uh, rewarding. We <laughs> finally. Oh, you like Mercy left. Kill, Spike? Oh, I love Mercy Kill. No, it's funny. Like, I think a lot of people feel like, oh, speedrunners are these god gamers. And I have a lot of respect for obviously the people in my community, but a lot of it is like it's so much hard work you put in to get like halfway consistent at so much of the stuff you got to do, and all of a sudden to put yourself into that position on. Um, and so all of a sudden, you put yourself in that position where, like, you're potentially a little or extremely rusty. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, I get to I get to bring out the mascot tomorrow. Run under, it's gonna be good. Oh man, my dude, <laughs> the scythe is coming our way. Another couple of names I can get to sign that once we can see folks again. So many people want to sign the scythe. I'm like, hey, once we can meet again, you can totally sign the scythe if you're on. Um, let's, okay, you know what? All right, so this is the first, like, really hard duel. He can drop a Gate Guardian for free for 4,250 fights. So that's not a good thing. So let's see what he does. He did not do that. He dropped Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's what we like to see. So I think what we're going to do to get over that, we're going to, he's hopefully not going to top deck a Gate Guardian. That actually would still get over my twin headed thunder dragon. If then on the next turn I can get off the mountain, then I'll basically win. Yeah, both Pi and Spike have some of the best commentary I've ever seen for games. I've seen both of them do GT runs. I've seen both of them do, you know, five other moments prior to this. Just top notch commentary, top notch fun. Resident Mercy Kill was a good time. Yeah, I had, <laughs> yeah, I had that a good was. time. I. <laughs> I had given an estimate assuming I was going to die at least once, so that was, uh, was a little lucky on our part. It was fun, though. It was good. We'll take it. We'll take it. We take those, baby. I might actually... Can I extend this? There's no way. No, 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 no. There's actually no way. Well, you know... Yeah, no, there's no way. Just end the duel. End the duel. Well, you know... <laughs> you saying there's a chance? But you gotta think here, don't you? Uh, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing if I can. I don't even know if his SA Pal Pool has anything good. We'll see. Yeah, we got two Mega Morphs on Campaign Pegasus. It was pretty redonkin. It was a highlight. Yeah, yeah. 
Come on. Uh, okay, so then let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Campaign MBD, baby. Come on. Campaign MBD. Honestly, I would say two MBDs is better than two Megamorphs. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. No, I would agree. Oh, yeah. Yes. Didn't you have two MBDs on a run at some point? Pie? I remember that. Probably at this point. I've, I've There's a lot of things. Yeah. Well, we you, had a, you had a booster pack. That you opened up that had three in it, I thought. Yeah, so we did. We did a we did a race one time, and like one of the things to like kill the time is you like cover up the reward. This was before five cards, so you would cover up what you would see, and you do it like five or six times just to kind of get a feel of you know, you know, it's a surprise. It's a booster pack, and I got three Megamorphs on <laughs> vanilla in a race before. <laughs> So this is just, this is, it's finally coming to haunt me, dude. It's finally. <laughs> so uh, there was a question in the chat, actually a really relevant one saying, have they played Duelist of the Roses before? Well, if you seen the MoMAM schedule, they will be playing Duelist of the Roses at some point during MoMAM 6. So please, if you want to know more about MoMAM, exclamation point RNG will get you there and you'll be able to know what night they're playing Duelist of the Roses. Yeah, I believe that's like our seventh or eighth game of schedule. I don't know, Pi, do you have some games that we're doing this year that you're more looking forward to than others? I mean, I think the whole schedule is stacked. I genuinely feel very good about it. Um, I'm trying to think of things I'm just really pumped for. I'm always pumped for, we do golf. We do Mario Golf Told Still Tour, mm -hmm. which is the GameCube version. And I am a huge, huge, huge fan of that one. That one's, that one's always a good time. Dude, that brings us, so obviously this was something when the Nintendo Direct happened this past week, and obviously Mario Golf came up. <laughs> I'm sitting there at home like, when's this coming out? <laughs> There's a July, okay, okay. Um, I hope that game is awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm actually, at that and Risk 2, I'm, I'm really excited about Risk 2. I, Risk 2 is another one of those like, Get owned by game by dice rolls the game, which I you know I love that, and so I think that <laughs> one's gonna be a fun one. And that one should be a pretty enjoyable, chill day. We're racing. I'm excited. Yeah, that one is probably the one I'm excited for the most too. I mean, I'm gonna be excited to play um, Pokemon Stadium too, like alongside while you both are doing that. But Risk Two is gonna be the one I'm excited to watch the most. Oh, actually, does this work? Hold it, hold it. I might be stupid, Chad. I mean, let's face it, we're pretty stupid. But, um, Pluto. Oh, this this ties. Let's go. Dude. Okay. I might be worse. I didn't know I was going to have troubles with low water, man. But... Oh, come on. Coming in with the classic turtle bird play. I'm going to lose the lower water. Oh, I need a Regeki. Where are you? Who's in a lower water class? Oh, I can kill his turtle bird. Let's go. How, dude? How did we? How did this deck lose to lower water? I don't think I've lost to lower water in my life. Have you seen a Megamorph yet? I assume not. No, I didn't see a Megamorph or a Thunder. It was just all dragons and like plants. It was bad. And this is, chat why you save after literally every duelist. Because there are just times the deck doesn't want to... I mean, anybody who's played... I mean, Sky can tell you she's played mm -hmm. Magic. Sometimes the deck just says, I don't care. I don't care. I'm I'm, I'm not going to give you the cards you oh, I've also played this, too. I have got up to the, the Nightmare 2 on this. And oh, you got all the way to Nightmare 2 and Yeah, Lock. 13 oh, hours no. in vanilla I was playing. The very last time I played this game was 13 hours. I got to Nightmare and just I got nothing in my draws. It was so, so demoralizing. I And I gave up at that point. I'm like, look, it's been 13 hours and it's been real, but oh, <laughs> it was so sad. Yeah, losing I think the Nightmare my theory. casual playthrough of this was like 30 plus hours just wanted to get a time on the leaderboard and that was a decent run for me to be able to do it but i did not want to go through the final six and if you do plan on running this at some point folks 
whatever you do, make sure the final six, I, it, it, what is it? The fi Is it called the final six? I forget what it's called. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't it's make sure the final six isn't the final seven. I've made that mistake. It's miserable. No, yeah, no, serious. we're, I'm going to make sure that's not it. Yes. Like, you, you know what? You should do, you should do the Give final six. Give shots at final, final seven. seven. <laughs> oh, that's, that's me. Make it interesting for me. <laughs> that that quality stream cut. You could right there. make the very small argument that I should. <laughs> you could you make the, the very game. small I want you to argument. Beat the game, Spike. Dude, I'm trying. I'm trying because Seto. I mean, Seto second, dude. He can wall you real hard. This deck shouldn't. This like if this deck doesn't beat the game tonight, something bad happens. Like. I said there was no chance at Egypt getting saved tonight. I'm like, ah, it's only four hours. It's really not easy to do. Oh, come on. A double Mega Ball. Right. Uh, who's winning? I'd say Spike is by a fair margin due to the double Mega Morph pull. Well, that's good. Like, what is the trap card that Meadow, High Meadow has in the back usually? High Meadow. Like, Ooh, not really Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. What? That's a seven thunder. Yes, it is. What? That's like a two. Are you going to go back and save? No, you're not. We're rolling. Spike's deep. putting it on the line right now. I can't believe I got a second thunder duck. Are you kidding me? That's like actually impossible to pull. Not oh, possible. Oh, that's, that's mean. Someone in the chat says just nothing but blue eyes ultimate dragon in Spike's future. Ooh, that's a bad word. When it could happen. It. it could happen. I mean, it's always <laughs> you don't have that much time. Okay, let's see. So he's rocking 3,100. Do I want to... Let's throw a little bit of cartage. I'm going to hold one dragon plus the Megamorph. I honestly shouldn't even help a dragon. Yeah, I that's think... Yeah, jungle's the best you can do right now with that hand. Yeah. So 3,100, like, that probably would have won anyways, but I'm going to give one scouting report. Fusion, so 3K. Sucks, actually. Uh... Oh, yeah, where is your um, your trend animation? It's true. We hadn't seen it yet. I have not seen trend since I got it. Oh. Yeah, I, it has been a little bonkers. As soon as we see him, I will mid-duel do it. I would prefer he shows up sooner. Oh, that's not good. I'm getting the wall right now. It's the wall, brother. I need mountain. Yeah. I really need mountain right now. Yeah, for those of you who have played Duelist of the Roses, I'm glad at least when you play this game, the only real saving grace is you don't have to deal with a nasty card called, I think it's Ryoku or something like that, where you lose half your life points and that gets put into a creature. Like, into a creature's attack and defense. It's super scary. That's in Duelist of the Roses? Yeah. It's yeah, one of the final that. fights. Did you like Duelist of the Roses? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I actually, I was sitting there. People were like, ah, it's really bad. I was like, okay, I unironically like Forbidden Memories, but it's kind of a poopy game. The Wilson of the Roses, I think, slaps pretty hard, actually. Yeah, it's and a fun. Thunder Dragon. Nice. Well, the thing with Duelist of the Roses is you have a chance to actually get some legit cards in that game through the slot machine. So I like that aspect of it. Yeah, I think, uh, what's the, is it? Ozygen, whichever one is the the Thunder version, is that Khan or uh, the piece of Gate Guardian? That's the Thunder one. Wait, I which one? Yeah, and he carried me like through that game. The piece of Gate Guardian. That's the Thunder one. Oh, 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 um, starts with an. Is it Sangha? Yeah, I think Sangha is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sangha of the Thunder or something like that. Uh huh. Uh, let's take out you and you, putting you and you and yeah. One of my favorites was um, being able to promote your commander in that game. You get like different promotions for your deck leader, and that can do different. That can have different effects on it. It's really hard to promote them though. 
Yeah, I got through like the entire game without promoting it. I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, I wanted to head remote. No, that's a thing that can happen. I think I think it's Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl I have in that game. It has a pretty high rank, but I played the heck out of that game growing up. Yeah, I played through the campaign for both stories. That's all I did. And then a couple other folks were mentioning Falsebound Kingdom, which has nothing to do with the cards proper, but I think Falsebound Kingdom's a really good game for the GameCube. I would recommend that as a playthrough for anyone. It's good. Oh, we need another Twin Headed really soon. Oh no! Okay, we can, okay, we're fine. Thank you. Come on, High Metal Mage, get me out of here. I'll tell you which of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games was the most odd to me. Dark Duel Stories for the Game Boy was a very odd version of this game. It's even it's even more more it, I guess wild would be the word for it than this. Like it's ridiculous. Bam bam bam. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which because I played like two of the GBA games. There was like World Tournament or something. I forget. Mm -hmm. I remember playing two of them. I remember there was also a Game Boy one that was kind of bad. Yeah, that was Dark Duel Stories. That is okay. Mm -hmm. oh, what's up, was... Guardian? How are you doing, my dude? So odd. All right, are you all good to take a break in about three minutes or so? Yep. Yep. Yeah, for good. sure. Behind cool. that, cool. so I'm I'm good after that. Cool. I can dunk on the Gate Guardian. This is what's so good about Mega Morph. Turns out with math, twenty eight hundred plus one K. Yeah, we probably, like, we got to gloss over. Anyone who doesn't know, like, what a lot of these cards are, equips in this game pretty much across the board will give you 500 bonus points of attack and defense. Mega Morph is the only one that does 1,000, and it goes on anything. It check, it doesn't check for, like, it has to be a specific type or anything. So, yeah, it's easily the best equip in the game. Some would say it's the best card in the game. I would argue that I think Meteor Black Dragon is better. I, he's overall a bigger MVP because there's something you have to mix him with. He just is a 3,500. You drop on the board. He wins like four out of the sp final six fights by himself. All right, need one more turn here, and we'll get our first shot at Seto Second. Seto Second is another duel that he can go all the way up to Gate Guardian there, which I'm lucky enough I've got these two Mega Morphs, so I definitely need to fill my cards. It's one of, this game has a lot of underlying mechanics that are very, very cool. Just the concept that you can throw your entire hand in the trash and drive, draw five more cards. Like, that milling potential is so, so good in this game. It actually gives the player a lot of control. The problem is the AI is stupidly difficult and literally cheap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It breaks rules that yeah. are established by the game. Last night, Spike, I was I was on Heishin, and he broke Magic Lock. Like, there was oh. no reason for him to do it. He just broke it. <laughs> it's just, uh. Well, I'm giving Pi another cheat. All right, are we, we about good for a break before Spike? Yeah, starts? whenever you want to. Okay. I can pause uh, whenever. Hang on. Yeah, Pi's almost done here with this match. I'm about to beat the low mage yeah. real quick. Yeah, we'll just wait for that then. That's okay. good, Pi. I wanted to sneak it in real quick. I want to remind everybody that the breaks are always a good time. Make sure you stretch. Make sure you hydrate. Those are very important. Whether you're watching something or streaming something, please make sure to stretch and hydrate. It's good for you to get up. I might have not been paying attention back there. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, Labyrinth Wall is a solid pull. It's not an amazing poll, to be honest. The 3,000 defense isn't going to mean much as we get to the end of the game. Three jellyfish. Nice. Okay, I'm good. Okay, you good to, you good to stop for a second, Spike? Yeah. All right. Goes, yeah. Why don't you all uh, count us down? All right. Ready, Spike? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Or stop in this case. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Keep going deep. So, uh, 
Before we go on our break here, folks, remember that information on all of our hotfix shows is available at gamestudquick.com slash hotfix. From there, you can find out more information about submitting your runs to any of our weekly shows. If you're watching on YouTube and you'd like to support our live content, please consider checking out our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gdq. And of course, if you've missed any of the runs from AGDQ 2021 online or want to watch any of our previous hotfix shows, go to youtube.com slash gamestudquick and check out an archive of our live shows. And as always, your subs, gift subs, Amazon Prime subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support our weekly hotfix content. So thank you for supporting our shows. And with that, everybody get up, stretch, hydrate, and we'll be right back with random number generation. Welcome back to Random Number Generation. I am joined here by I Your Pine Spike Vegeta, and this is Forbidden Memories, a five-card mod. Let's dive right back into the action on your count. I'll do it. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. <sighs> Poor Richard. He's the one who's operating the That's timer right now. Oh, oh, shoot. Well, uh, three. Oh. Yeah, whatever. We're fine. <laughs> All right. So, what happened? Um, let's talk about the reason why y'all are here let's talk a little bit about this thing called momam 6 that's coming up in about a week or so yes talk about it Month okay. of mushrooms and mayhem 6 myself spider gina and i at your pie will be facing off every day throughout the month of march except for off days um we'll be facing off in all sorts of different uh races challenge runs and uh competing for points to decide who is the more dominant gamer of that year Pi is right now up three Momams to two. Oh, I can't even attack. He fake trapped me. Who fake traps these days? What meta is this? But you can watch us all next month. We are on the road to Momam. We played games like uh, Mario Party 2, Shadow the Hedgehog. Never play that game. It's terrible. We're playing Forbidden Memories tonight. We'll be back on GDQ tomorrow playing Super Mario 64 and Donkey Kong Country. And when we get to March, we'll be playing all sorts of awesome Vigima games. You can uh, type in the command for uh, RNG to see uh, a lot of the info there, including you can fill out a bracket of your own to decide if you can pick out who wins each of those days the best out of anyone out there. Which, by the way, we already set a record for highest number of, uh, of brackets. And we are still like a week out from the event starting, like five, six days. So that's bonkers. Thank you all so much. Go fill out more. It's completely free to enter. And you get into the running to win a PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X, any six games for those three consoles of your choice. And a $69 gift card to Taco Bell. Go fill out your brackets. You don't know who's going to win. We don't know who's going to win any of them. Do you think we know who's going to win SpongeBob? Rehydrated Battle for Bikini Bottom, whatever the game is called. We don't know. Go fill it out. Throw a dart. You might get it right. Someone's got to win that Ultimate Gamer Package. It could be you. I just realized the name Bob is in SpongeBob in context to Pi's file names. Oh, does that bless him or does that? No, that curses okay. him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a curse. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's throw all these. I'll hold the Geki for right now. Yeah, Pi and I honestly just, I guess six years ago at this point, at more than what it must have been a year before that, we did the like week of dumb, we called it. Um, where Pi, I was just in Pi's chat, and he was like, Do you just want to do like a week of races or something? It'd be cool. And I was like, Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds like fun. Um, let's get here. And uh, we did that. We thought it was fun. And then Pi was like, Pi, the ultimate endurance streamer. It's like, <laughs> hey, let's let's just, let's do that week-long thing, but for like a month. And I was like, yeah, okay. The first year we did was actually the month of Mushrooms and Master Swords. We did all uh, Mario and Zelda stuff. And uh, since then, it has evolved to uh, go even further beyond that to even Mushrooms and Mayhem. And uh, we get to feature it's just a lot of like other franchises. We've thrown a lot of like PlayStation stuff into the mix. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know, Pi, do you have any favorite races that we have done over the years? We've got a lot of really good ones. Uh, Spyro 1 was very good. Spyro 1 was good. It's oh. Trent! It is Trent! Let's go, dude. Okay. My oh, favorite one go. was uh, Castlevania 3. Uh, Castlevania 3. 
Tetris. I found out I'm really bad at Tetris. All right, chat, <laughs> watch this animation as we remember a lot of our favorite races. Fire of the Dragon was really, really good. Our first ever monkey ball race. Very, very close, very, very good. Pokemon TCG2 last year. Pokemon Stadium until Rando last oh, year. TCG2 was really good last year. <clears throat> that was a fun one. Um, trying to think. Mario Party, I mean, you might not like this one, but it brought out one of the best I okay. like stream moments was Mario Party 3 Super Hard, which went a lot longer than we were anticipating it was going to go. That was something. Yeah, we like to jump all around. Like, obviously, we like our Mario. We like our Zelda, that sort of stuff. But uh, I know one that challenged us last year is we tried to play through Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Turns out Ooh. that game's really hard. But very, very good. I think we both had a good time with it. I find it took me so, it took me like an hour to get Trent. I got Can't forget about uh, Elmo's no, number journey, dude. Oh, Elmo's number journey. Seven minus six, everyone. Never forget. Quick man. Was said. Wait, I missed that. You never saw Elmo's number journey? Oh. Do I need to go back and watch that? That I, it won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> that game is unironically a 20 minute blind race for the Nintendo 64. Well, that's what I we, wanted to I do. I think we maximize it. There's like three difficulties, which difficulty in that game means you play one less level of the three between easy, normal, and hard. We gave you all the full package that year. I looked at that one, and then I looked at Castlevania. You have Castlevania 1 for an entire thing, and I told Off, I'm like, that's going to take him 20 minutes. He's like, maybe you a CD runner like you, it would take 20 what? minutes. What? No. <laughs> like, three to four hours. Like, I think that's going to take us minimum insane. three hours. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How long did three take y'all? Because that uh, one's much worse. Uh, we, went, we did the hardest route, so. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. Petrus level was literally 80% of the play through that night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The lower route with the blocks. That's right. You you never let me forget about that one, considering. God, that level is poop. I hate to say, I know it's a family-friendly stream, but poop, poop ice. <laughs> Tar and feather that level. If y'all ever play Castlevania level. 3, I genuinely think that's one of the best games on the NES. It's very, very yeah. good. But that level is horrid. I think I remember telling y'all at the beginning, go Cypher's route, but then Pat was like, no, we're doing the hard route. And I'm like, oh, nah, nah, oh my. Stream value. Sometimes oh you, my. you do stream value and it backfires, you know, every <laughs> once in a while. You both had to do the sunken city as well, then, if you took the hardest route. That's not yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sometimes you uh, make a mistake. All right. We, we, we both finished, though, so that was cool. That's good. Yeah, that's a really hard game to finish. I'm going to throw these guys. So I've got a Beast Fangs in my hand, which means I would have I would have had access to a 3300 right off the bat. But if he top decks Gate Guardian here, it wouldn't have mattered. And it's looking like, oh, Black Luster Soldier. We can mess with this. This can work. Mm. Let's chuck you, you. That's going to be 18 in the 16, 20 in the game. You want to try to every turn figure out how can I throw all my cards so I can just dig deeper into the deck because I'm now not worried about what my uh, uh, about what my uh, rank is or anything. I'm just trying to win the beat. And we could get Easy Mo Seto second. We'll see. Did he top deck it? Ooh, no top deck yet. Need that to hold off for just a couple turns, chat. Just a couple. Now we get MBD. I did not. I, I got two Mega Morphs and a trick. I was very happy. Either way, it just keeps it a little safer. Guy of the Dragon Champion. That card's not good. Nah, you want to have three equips going into the end game to try to have some consistency. Honestly, my deck. Has the consistency. We'll see if the game wants to let it happen. Trent, you're getting a Mega Morph, my dude. <laughs> Hi, I did it for you. I waved the disc of Freedom right. Memories to off, and he said, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. 
I'll put it on his pillow. No, hey, he came, he raided me the other day, which I loved. <laughs> and he was like, talk about Mo Man. Talk about Mo Man. Talk about Mo Man. I'm like, all right, just let me hold on a second. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to raid him next time. And I'm going to say, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories! Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories! I'm just going to say that over and over and over and over and over until he gives me some sort of recognition. It'll be perfect. <laughs> I'll get him back. It's fine. He's kind of, though. I mean, he could kind of cheese it, though, with all of my knowledge on it if he asks me any questions. No, like, don't help him. Let don't him help him. <gasps> let him. Let that man suffer. <sighs> But Pi, what if I have to sleep on the couch because I don't have Oh, uh, sacrifices need to be made for stream value. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get your head in the game, Sky. Uh. Was 10 and minus 6, Mo Man 5. That was Mo Man 4. No, last year we followed it up with the legendary Elmo's uh, number journey. We had our, our uh, letter adventure, letter adventure. Sorry, they all get mixed up in my <laughs> Basically the same game. I think they honest. were made in the same day. So, <laughs> yeah. so Spike, what's it like living this with another good. Snake? Ship it out. Takes 30 minutes to beat. $60 yeah. each. Make them, I make them pay for these you letters. You know that got charged 60 bucks. <laughs> oh, absolutely, dude. Oh, man. Did you just that get set up? Uh, yes, I did. So right, I've got I'm going three to the Day Guardian right? myself. Ooh. Beat three mages, and we're just we're just gonna go for it, and then farm on meadow if I have a chance, and then take a I shot. can't, I can't believe Kai told me I can't help off. I feel feelings right now. <laughs> <laughs> this game. So I, here's the one thing I will say: anyone who's out there who might be like, I kind of want to learn this game. There's, it's like an, a bottomless well of knowledge, to be 100% honest. But getting into it, there's a really good guide by GFC um, that is up on speedrun.com. Highly recommend checking that out. Uh, do I want to take a chance? Ah, let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, there's a really good guide by GFC on speedrun.com. That's what I learned off of. It's still the route that I use to this day. And uh, yeah, under the guide section there, go go check it out. Go jump into this game, kind of learn the lore and everything. And now with stuff like five card and 15 card, I think the first time you play the game, you should do it on vanilla. You should like get that true forbidden memories experience. Then when you do play five or 15 card, you appreciate it. I was gonna say, I've only played the vanilla version so far, so I assume I should try the five or 15 card variants then. Yeah, give it a shot. I think it just makes for like, does not all of us have, you know, 12 hours mm -mm. to not finish? I played vanilla allegedly last night. My boy Bean Daddy. Let's go. I got a bean sword. I did not know Gate Guardian has a reverse trap. That That's news to me, dude. Well, our dude. Um, yeah, let's go see a Mooka Mooka, Papa Trick, Bean Soldier, and Snake Yashi. I say being able to more consistently put out uh, Black Dragon Jungle King still good because with a Mega Morph, that's still thirty one hundred. That can I can get you over the top for a lot of these. Let's actually go first turn Mountain here. So this is the other really really hard mage fight. Because he can put out perfectly ultimate great moth, which is just a 3,500. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty fair. And then gets buffed by forest. Yeah. Which is even better. So it's 4,000. Electric um, snake, catapult turtle, rain temperature. Hey, well, we can't run from this, so we'll just take the free snake. It's 1121, right? It's by. Uh, yeah, one, one, two, one. I failed that the first time. Don't do that. All right, so now what is he doing? He is pumping up a moth. A, only a great moth, though. 30 or 100. I just need to be able to make a twin edit thunder. I do want to throw the rest of these cards, though. I'm um, just making sure I don't screw this up somehow. So 16. 
16, 18, 20. Yeah, let's do this. The still mills. Just about all my cards. Your best song. Uh, no Pugums, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Right, that's going to be like a Flame Cerberus or something. I actually, and that should be a deep. I don't think we've seen an MVD yet tonight. I mean, we've seen it on the opponent's screen, but I don't think either Pyre Spike has captured it oh, yet. Oh, I've seen a few MVDs, yeah. I guess we just saw the one from Pegasus. He was just like, listen, kid, I'm going to give you two Mega Morphs. You're going to have to take these two crappy top decks. I just need a dragon we can beat. So, good chance. He led with really bad cards. Please. Okay. High Force Mage definitely went oh, easy mode for us there. He Only that. had the one Dude, Great Moth. Let's go. Let's go. The heart of the cards. Another Bean Soldier. I'm going to have two Bean Daddies in my deck. Okay, we can beat Black Luster Soldier. We can do that. We can do that. All right, two more mages, and then we're off to the final six. And these are honestly... Okay. I, if, if, if your card had said my only loss in the mages tonight was going to be low water, you win. Please do not top deck. Do not top deck. Okay, good. All right, Mountain Mage. Load in my boy, the Bean Soldier. Yeah, so I have to play this pretty conservatively right now because I only have 1250 life points. I can't just like willy dilly attack. Otherwise, it could just kill. Trying to bait out attacks. Yeah, I have to bait basically until I get another twin headed. Um, this might work for low mage. We'll see. For the old low mountain mage. Please just don't top deck a really good card. Yeah, let's go for another 26 here. I might be able to write on the next turn and go for an SA POW play. Which I think this is the one that can give me an MBD. We'll see. Anyway, the only card that, that will hurt us right now is Gate Guardian. Okay. 26, 50, 25. Okay, yeah, I can just get you here. Quick maths, Jack. Quick maths. Little SA pow on low mountain. Okay, one more turn. This would be huge. We could first try set O2. That would be. We're making up ground. Spike is still. Yeah, you're well honestly lead. you're keeping pace with me. Yeah. Because what would you say? What's your deck looking like right now? Does it actually look okay? I mean, dragons and thunder wise, I can I can probably consistently AS rank meadow. So all it takes is like a couple fights, we get one MBD, and we're right there. So, yep, absolutely. Um, okay, let's just cool. shut up. Two is dead. That's good. We'll see if he draws a black skull dragon here. That's gonna go over the top of my twin-headed thunder dragon right now, I would need one of my three equips. No, he went twin-headed thunder dragon as well, it looks like. Let's be extra conservative here and just take the turn to put it over the top of whatever he's got. Giving it the beast fangs. Oh, Sangha, actually, okay. All 
All right, chat. I don't know if he'll be able to do it. Give it a shot. Ah, man, it's going to break even. I wanted him to get the kill on the animation. Well, now you can see what the mountain field looks like. So anyone who doesn't know, if you, instead of pressing X, press square when you go to attack, it'll do this. And they all have, here's how much production value is in this game. All of this is completely skippable. But there is an attack animation, two different ones for all of the like 700 monsters in this game. He's going Super Saiyan right now. He's gonna, it's all gonna be to break even here. The draw, dude, I was like, come on, have less than 2,500. What are you doing? My boy Trent's super popping. That's, That's really intense music. Yeah. I've always said, like, if I got to, like, 10,000 subs, do a five-card run of this where every attack you have to go for the enemy. Oh, gosh. That's that's not worth it, Spike. <laughs> 10,000 subs. Y'all hear it here. I'm going to send this out. I'm selling out to a large audience here on GDQ. Figure the value. It would be terrible, but I'd pay rent that month. <laughs> that would take you so long. Holy moly. It would... Oh, we're talking like a 24-hour minute. You know how many times we attack in this game and it takes one instead of 60 seconds? Like, it would be terrible. Is this a race? It was. <laughs> no. Wow. He's not wrong. It is a race, though. It is. Pi has actually kept pace. I'm like two duels ahead. Now I'm full. So we got a peacock. Nice. I actually think my drop luck has been bonkers tonight. Not just the two Megamorphs. I think I'm getting a bunch of very random, like, like 0.5% drops. Like, you could be the any percent with animations world record holder. World That's record holder. We dude. could go for it, dude. <laughs> Somebody actually has done that, I assume. Has that? Yeah, that's got to be a category, right? Oh, my gosh. Not, this game's like, this game has like two categories. That's not even a category extension leaderboard thing. That's just, <laughs> there's any percent, 100%, which people run, by the way. Vanilla, it's like a 72-hour world record. Don't worry, they take breaks. There's also uh, manipulation versus no manipulation. Right. <laughs> okay, summon school is a good start. My boy, Brachio Radius. Okay, well. <laughs> as tempting as it is to make a 4800 Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. We'll hold off on that for a second. Oh, I should have went to Pluto. Do I put it in Pluto or Moon on Desert? I forget for high. Desert, you want? I, I'm, I'm on Desert as well. You want to go Moon? You want Moon? Yeah, because he has a lot of uh, Mars or whatever they are. Yeah. God, I wanted to Megamorph my Bean Daddy. It could have been good. Yeah, I want to see that sort of hand pop up on, like, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Because then that's a 4,800 in my hand. I don't care that he's got an ultimate. What is 100% consist of? You must complete the card library. There are 722 cards in the game. You cannot get all 722. You can get like 689 of them. So in vanilla, that means getting one card a duel, including cards that are like, we're talking about like 0.1% drops. Ridiculous stuff. I believe my boy ENSG has world record at like 
It's like 72 hours. All animations five card, though. That could be the future. <laughs> and by the future, I mean one day to someone who sell, sold out for 10,000 subs. We're just going to do... Oh, wait. <laughs> Am I doing just this? You know what? Sure. I'm actually just going to put a 3,500 wall. Yeah, you have to get three blue eyes. I did it last year with five cards. And it took me over 50 hours. There's a certain amount of time it's going to take just because you need enough star chips to be able to buy everything. Wall on wall. All right, one mage left. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go fast enough just so you don't catch up. I was trying to play for maybe if I can get to final six before you, and then like take the lead by beating something that would force sure. you to pass up. Dude, Pi's playing so well. I just want everyone to know Pi is actually playing this really, really very smart play. He's giving himself a chance off of my stupid luck we got early in the seed. In the seed. Okay. I think I'm gonna take. What are the zero point one percent drops? A lot. There are a lot of zero point one percent drops. This duel is what lasted far too long. So what's your last mage? Forest, which is the hardest one. So. Oh, okay. You stole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take one shot at him. If I don't beat it, I'm going to go farm Meadow and see if I can get some good cards. I think that's good. Which one drops the MVD? Is it Meadow? Meadow, yep. Meadow. Okay. Yeah, Meadow cool. drops a cool. lot of good cards. Yeah, that's and it. Dragon like, if he was just MVD, it'd be debatable if you really want to make that play or not. But he actually has... It's weird. There's, like, three duelists have, who have all the good cards in this game. You only want to farm with them the whole time. All right, I've beaten all my mages. I get La Jin. If this was OG US Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, like early 2000s, I'd be popping off getting that La Jin. But here, he's not good. More so fiends aren't very good. They just don't fuse with anything. Fiends and insects, they're bad. Yeah, hyacin has got a bunch of super low percentage cards that you got to try to find. Um, I am just real quick. Is there any part of me? You know, how many? How many star chips do I have? Forty three. Okay, I could buy one more thunder. That's probably better than buying an Umi right now. Umi, I'd have to go back and farm anyways for. God, why can I never see his name? Okay, 1551. Hero 988. Let's build the deck. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I've never had three Thunder Ducks in my deck. But we're not taking Griggle out. He's my boy. Uh, you know what? See a mushroom. Who lives on Drury Lane? Uh, all right. Back in we go. Reminder, Chad, that we are here on the road to MoMam. We're building towards MoMam 6, the month of mushrooms and mayhem. Myself and my boy, I ate your pie. I'm just going to save for like the third time in a row. Make sure I did it. Save, double save, triple save. And we're going to be throwing down in all sorts of games next month, ranging from the first day playing Mario Party 3, getting to the end of the month, we'll be doing stuff like the Super Mario All-Stars Shuffler, another game I'm looking forward to quite a bit playing, uh, where uh, you just load a bunch of different video games, do a program, and they, every like 
every X amount of time, I think you can customize the time, but like 15 to 45 seconds, for example, it'll change what game you're playing. And we'll be doing that with Super Mario All-Stars. So Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3, and Lost Levels, constantly swapping between them. We'll have to go until one of us beats all four of those video games. That one's going to be a riot. I can't wait for that one. Uh, let's just check all the cards. Please, no pug him. Come on. No pug him, please. Let's pug him. Oh, it's Garvis. Whoa, hold up. Yo, whoa, we need to slow down. You just got a Garvis on High Forest. He, he went baby mode for me as well. Let's keep that energy. Let's keep that yeah. energy right now. No, I just low. started Go final down. six. Ooh. Is this 15 card or vanilla? Actually, neither one of those things. This is five card. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Let's do that. Yeah, I think technically you could have any number between five and 15. I just don't know if you could do like two, three, or four. Even. Yeah, this is five card. It's a little more balanced version of it. The community really took off with 15 card when we introduced it. Um, do you want to go? I don't know that. My deck's not producing the thunders right there. Oh, well. How many thunders are you on? I have like eight. Like, Spike. we're good to go on those. Spike is, oh, is, uh, is pumpkin a what is it 1100 in higher grass plus it's 1000 uh it's 1000 zombie plus a grass okay didn't keys do a 60 card no nah, that 15 card is the biggest it goes Sounds like a very keys around meme if it does exist, though. If it did exist, oh, yeah. I mean, he's multiple times done 15 card 100%. And the problem is there's so many there's so many duels you have to do just to get enough star chips to buy all the cards that you can't get in drops. But, like, after a while, you're getting, I just got a double pump king, the king of ghosts. Nice. Um, like, it doesn't matter how many cards you get. You have to do enough just to get... X amount, like X number of thousand star chips. And again, you only get five every turn. Yeah, they made a mod where apparently you can get like up to 15 star chips every time you win a duel. So that's nice. That speeds that part up quite a bit. Dude. All right. So this entire hand to get thrown. Boom, 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 boom. You ever just not able to draw dragons, dude? This is nuts how bad my luck has been for drawing dragons. Mine's been that with just thunder, specifically. Let's put out the 3000 yeah. maybe can block. It'll block like Summon Skull or Dark Magician. But no, he's got Skull Knight. Skull Knight's his best monster. So this dude in the final six, he is just here to check if you have an equipped card. Yeah, it's Raigeki doesn't even mean anything right here. He says, right. do you have an equip card? Okay. Because I'm basically only going to play down monsters, and I'm going to kill you. Wow, he's the rare back row from him. That's, that's very, very rare. He back rows. So if you don't get an equip in your top, like, 10, 15 cards, you usually just lose. God. Nice. I, I one-shotted every single mage, dude. Wow, what a legend. All right, we are done. Technically speaking, I could go final six right now. Are you in the first or second fight, Spike? Uh, I'm on the fur. I'm on the second fight right now. Okay, I'm going to go farm then. But at this point, if I had a, if I could have got like into final six before Spike, I would have gone for it just to get that. Whoever beats, you know, most of the more of the final six forces the other person to pass them. But with Spike being there with two Megamorphs, I'm going to save, and then we're going to hope for the 
the MBD drop in the next 30 minutes or so, if that. Like, Spike could beat it on this run. So, we're going to go Yeah, for it. I don't know if we'll... I mean, we'll see. I need a green card. Nope. Yeah, this is... Yeah, we're for sure going to be waiting for the next turn. So, I just probably need to... Probably. Yeah, my deck didn't want to participate in this duel. So I've got three green cards. Like, I don't need it to be a Mega Morph. I need a Beast Fang. He needs to back row a second time. You know what? You know what? We're going to... Spike's having some issue with the second fight. Yeah, dude. You, I say, if you beat the second guy first, you take the lead right now. Yeah, I'm going to go for it right now. One go shot. Go for it, Pi. Let's go, Pi. Actually, I, okay, so... A little bit of lore. When we played this game the first time, like vanilla blind, we got incredibly lucky with insane, like just played all easy mode for final six. I never saw blue ultimate, a blue eyes ultimate dragon on seven two. Like just lucked our way to a victory. So Spike got really lucky in the first half. Let's see if we can pull this off, chat. That would actually be bonkers. I, I would want to see this happen. The ultimate comeback overcoming. We're talking Kansas City Royals up against the New York Yankees and not like good Royals. Like, like the like the like their payroll is not as good. Because you've still got only what? Like the dragon treasure? Did you ever get a second equip? Nope. We're running oh. one equip. A lot of dragons and thunders though. But no, we need, we got to get the equip card to win. Miracles can happen, man. Right. Yeah, so a pretty common experience. So Pi had that experience. Here was mine, and this is a lot closer. Like our good friend like used pizza, among others. Like the experience is you, uh, if you like utilize the internet and some tools, you can kind of understand how the game works a little bit. Give that to yourself, honestly, the first time you play the game. You'll get to the final six probably in about 10 ish hours. It then took me till about hour 33 before I beat the final six. That's actually the much more common outcome for a lot of <laughs> players the first time. Thing about this game is that sounds like a lot of time, but like you're farming for so long, you don't notice the hours go by when you play this. Oh, game. yeah, you just gotta rock out to the music and just at some point. And the thing is, again, like you have to know what cards to go farm. That's the other problem. You don't know where to go, you don't know how to farm things. You gotta use the internet, you gotta use the internet to tell you what to do. To give you some idea for like, yes, you want to go try to get a BCD. And what does BCD even mean on ISIS? If you've got some traps, try to SA Tech Pegasus. Low Meadow Mage. Yo, nice, uh, nice Bolt S Cargo. It's not Zoa there, Spike. Yeah, Zoa's pretty cool. Zoa can actually like help us out with pretty much just this next duel, but we'll still put him in. Oh, Shadow Spell. Oh, that's rough. Rip. Oh, is that GG? Yeah, it is. Rip. All right, I'm going to go farm. Yeah, I'm I, go farm. I need to get some I, better cards. The farm music. The, the music that you will hear in your sleep for the rest of your life once you've farmed enough. I don't know if the mountain was the best play right here. I probably should have just thrown everything but the Mega Morph. Oh. If, if I lose here. And like almost always he's just gonna counter back with the Yami. So it gave me an opportunity to maybe draw a dragon here. Okay. We got bailed out, honestly. Boy. They're lucky. It's fine. Well, I mean, in my defense, I had one draw at 17 different dragons in my deck. Literally 17. Yeah. 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 Alright. Yeah, Let's that's just a little torque of the AI. AI. If they've got a yummy in the hand, they'll they'll yummy your mountain. It's gonna be the easy start, I'm feeling it. What do 
didn't think it's the hardest of the final six. I want to say Nightmare 2 just because of Ice, but I don't think that's the hardest. It might be Seto 3, maybe. It's definitely Seto 3. He very, very consistently drops Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Like, probably 80% of the time you fight him, he'll drop an ultimate on your face. No. And for anybody who doesn't know what that is, that's a 4,500 monster. Which, that with my equips, like, I technically can beat that, but I mean technically. All right, yeah. here we go. It's all about what you draw at that point. Okay. All right. I took out the second Still guy. Still can't pull dragons. I don't understand how this works. Yeah. Other than him, uh, yeah, night, the final, the nightmare fight, he, uh, he can draw Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's much less likely. It's probably, I don't know, like a 35, 40% chance you'll see it. He just rushes you. He has nothing but monsters in his deck. He says, you have to get a bigger monster on the field right now. Now, here we got Jafar. We got Hyacin. We're going to try to win this time, actually. We have Megamorph in the hand with a Bolt Escargo. That's a GG. All right. So how about, it's been a little while. Why don't we talk about MoMam6, y'all? Yeah, sure. I took the last one. I'll leave it up to Pi. He's fine. No, I got this. I got this. Yeah, so MoMam6 is, oh, we got a dragon. That's what MoMam6 is all about. Folks. That's what MoMam6 is all about. Out of all Most the 10 of dragons I have in my deck, dragon. we able to pull one. Let's having, let's let's freaking go. That's, that's, yeah. that. no, no question marks there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, honestly, that reaction is MoMam6. Yeah, it's that a actually of, is. <laughs> of pop-offs and getting excited about good luck happening your way. Myself and Spike Vegeta, we've raced through all kinds of silly, fun games. We've done Forbidden Memories in the past. We're doing new Yu-Gi-Oh games this year. It's so much fun. Starting March 1st, we're playing Mario Party 3, and then we chill it out with some Pikmin 3 with the new version that just came out. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, it's just a month of really hype, fun races between myself and Spike. I mean, Spike and I are competitive, but we're not like, we don't hate each other. Like, we joke about it. Right, right, right. Honestly, Mortal enemies, but you know. We just, we just want to have fun. Curse of Dragon, okay. Let's go, dude. All right, that's half of a, right? Is that half of a, or no, am I thinking of something else? That's half of Gaia. Yeah, I, you're thinking of, you're thinking of Meteor Dragon. Oh yeah, whatever, yeah, Meteor Dragon. But uh, so it's a month of, of us having a good time, enjoying ourselves, racing. We The loser has to do a bunch of, you know, we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, the loser this year, so we do a different to punishments. Ketchup on mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and mashed potatoes with ketchup, apparently, if I lose. But we do, uh, like, basically, you know, so the loser has to play a game of the winner's choice. Or last year, Spike had to play Superman 64, which is not a good video game, but he, you know, he rocked it. This year, we are what what we're planning on doing is there's a website called Cameo, which like a bunch of celebrities get on there. You can pay X <laughs> amount of money and they'll like say you can write a script and they'll read it as long as it's not inappropriate. This year, the winner gets to pick out a cameo of their choice. And basically, we'll find some like D-list celebrity that's going to and they're just going to basically make fun of the loser. And so, so imagine, I think Gilbert Godfrey is on there. Just imagine <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey just in his voice saying, hi, you last moment. I can't even do his voice. And he's just, <laughs> just blaming me for, you know, not getting two Megamorphs. I, I can't pull Thunders now. This game is stupid. I hate this game, okay? I hate this game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, just imagine that. So that was a new thing that we're doing this year. I mean, I've had to put a, a Tom Brady poster oh. on uh, in my room for one oh. Momam loss. You know, it's all kinds of silly stuff like that. So a bunch of, of things like that. We also are giving away a bunch of prizes and you can find this out by putting in the command RNG into the chat. I, I can't, mm, I just never just want a, a, a card and it never shows up. That's me right now. Uh, you can put in the command RNG, fill all the predictions. You pick who you think is going to win each race. And at the end of the month, we're going to tally up. There's a leaderboard throughout the month. You can keep track of how you're doing compared to everybody else. The end, the winner is going to get an ultimate gamer package. It's PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, a dragon in your deck that I can't pull. 
a Nintendo Switch, six games of your choice, and a $69 gift card to, oh, I could have thrown the thunder down, I guess, on that, whatever, uh, to Taco Bell. Every, well, I shouldn't say everyone loves Taco Bell, but a lot of people like Taco Bell, and I'm sure you know someone who loves Taco Bell if you don't. So you can fill that out. I mean, we also, we're giving away, There's a, I, we barely talk about this, but we're giving away a Nintendo, $50 Nintendo eShop gift cards as well. It's like a, it's a social media giveaway that's on, if you go to streambig.net slash momem6, or you put in the command uh, RNG and click on that link, you scroll down. There is, all you basically have to do is just follow our streams and our Twitter. Oh, I keep messing up combo spike. I'm effing up, I'm messing up, I'm messing up combos. You can win a $50 Nintendo eShop card for that as well. So all kinds of cool stuff. Starts March 1st. This is the road to Mount Moman. Spike's about to win. Go 3-0 and start the beginning of the month with one point already. It's going to be a good time. I'm excited for it. We got extremely lucky there, chat. Is he, there any he popped way? out all three Gate Guardians, but no three heads. I oh, are you serious? You can still see that on Nightmare. Oh my god. We have to get the guy who voices Seto Kaiba to say someone's a third rate duelist with a oh third rate deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that would be sick, actually. Yeah, that would. Dude, what if Tom Brady is on? No, 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 no. He costs Please, I wouldn't be for me. I mean, if he was if he was two hundred dollars, I would pay I would pay oh, Tom yeah, you Brady know, to make Because everyone costs a different amount. Like some people are like, yeah, for like fifty bucks or other people, it is a, a stack of cash. Tom Brady, I feel like, would not be. All right, now we got Macho Man Randy Savage chat. Oh, yeah. We're gonna oh, set yeah. Three, Who's got the lead? I currently have the lead. I am the first getting to Macho Man. There are two duels left here in this final six. Yeah, not one, but two. A lot of folks think this is the last one, and it isn't. Trust me, Pi and I know that one personally. Yeah. The game yeah, is yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. will not let the game finish. You're at this point, you're like, how? Why is it still going? Because you're not getting to save for any of them. Like not last me. night, I got to Nightmare 2. Last turn, he had not pulled ultimate. I was ahead. He had like a thousand life points and he top deck ultimate dragon on the oh! last turn he possibly could. It was so sad, dude. <laughs> like, ah, I haven't yeah, played this game in a it. year. I remember why I haven't played this game in a year. Let me just luck, chuck. Like these boys right i'm just trying to get them out of my hand oh yeah this music's so good spike the music and like legitimately like your heart is like pow okay he's rocking an mbd that's actually the best monster that he can rock like not for us it's just it's good for him but i thankfully have a megamorph in my hand i drew the other cards we're gonna get a shot at nightmare chat we're ahead. So, like, the reason why I know the game is already over is because every turn, the AI is going to think, I have to, if I have a cleared board and they've got a monster on their end, I have to match that. So he's just going to keep laying down monsters and they're, none of them are going to be feeding during But there's just little quirks with the AI, you have to understand. Um, boop, boop, boop. Oh, do you have a magic lock? Yeah. Well, not a magic lock. He's just having to counter every turn. Which one of the... Does this one have ultimate, or is that just Nightmare 2? It's only Nightmare. Beto 3rd and Nightmare are the only two that rock Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Again, it. I already got super, super lucky with Seto 3rd. The last one can still do it. It's not as high odds. Oh, that's right. I should be rocking Pluto. The Cosmic. Rip. Um... Legit throwing Bean Daddy out there. Yeah, because if you go in Moon here, that actually counters Cosmo Queen. It's actually a pretty good strat you can go for if you're not rocking an equip in your opening hand. Yeah, it's like, I feel like Bean Soldier's about to die. <laughs> hey, oh. he countered him, though, with the Guardian Star. Let's go, dude. The Nightmare one doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not too bad. Rose Spectre are done. You know what? Get out on the field and get the W. All right. It all comes down to this, chat. 
I can either have the lead going to Nightmare, meaning Pi's got to, at this point, win before I the have next to win, power yeah. Stop. Or we can end it early. I've got like three flame swords. Man. <sighs> Joey would be proud. never draw cards, man. This is so rough. All and as a right. reminder here, before we go into this match, Pi and Spike will be back here tomorrow night on Mercy Kill against the timer in a race of Super Mario 64, a 120 oh, star. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Oh, that is a terrible opening hand. Okay, I've got two Thunders, three Thunders. I think you, I've got enough Thunders in the deck. I think i got to throw all of them. I would have five draws left. Like, he pretty much, again, he only has monsters. That's actually a really bad opening hand. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw all three Thunders. I got five other draws left in the deck. Pretty bad. Let's see what he's got. That is, oh, that's going to be three heads. That is a full stack of three heads right there, chat. Yeah, I, I have no choice. I got to chuck the whole hand. Dad, I think we're going to be going back to the start of the final six. I don't think we're ending this one early. The deck didn't want to participate, and he's got three heads. I have to get something this turn. Yeah, he's got Gay Guard. He went Omega mode. Yeah, this is what happened to me the one time I went up against Nightmare. It was exactly this spike. It was turn one ultimate, turn two Gay Guardian. And I'm just like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Aw, oh, that's too bad, man. That's too bad. Oh. That's too bad. That's not gonna. That is. Not enough, chat. Yeah, we needed the literal god hand to have a shot. You needed double Megamorph. Yeah. Yeah, you live in a world where that is not enough to beat it. Kill it. That's MBD on the field. Is that just am I being? Yeah. All right, we're going back to the start of the final six chat. All that progress we made, all for naught. And that's why forbidden memories is tough. <laughs> it sometimes doesn't care. It, it literally tests how good are your top 10 cards. And my top 10 cards were all just a bunch of little baby dragons and thunders. All right, well, we put the pressure on Pi, I guess, at the very least. But mm -hmm. we're leaving the door open. There is an opportunity. If I can get a couple of MBDs, even one, give himself a shot. There is a world. Yeah, if he had not drawn at least the one Blue Eyes Ultimate, I actually, I drew the nuts there that were good enough to get over the 3750 Gate Guardian. Because that's the second strongest monster they're going to play. But it's a big old jump to 48. Right, any cards you got during it, all that's gone. Once you go into the final six, you're locked in. I probably won't get one more full, full attempt in here in the third hour, but well, that'll speed us up a little bit. Yeah, realistically, what you're hoping for is that on Nightmare, you're going to get a hand like what I just had right there. And then he's going to uh, not play ultimate. I mean, reality, he probably is going to play an ultimate. Very, very rarely will he play more than one ultimate. And uh, you'll put out a scout. You'll write Geki the ultimate. And then you'll play the Mega Morph. My hand was just, it was pretty goofy. Dude, I have done Meadow Mage five times, and not a single time have I been able to make a twin-headed on my first turn. That is so frustrating oh. with, like, 
10 of each, dude. Oh. That sucks. Because getting, it's so important that you AS rank this fight. And if you can get ahead, typically with one twin headed at the start, you, your, your odds of getting an AS are very high. Because it'll do a soak in here to get a bunch of free hits. We have just, can, we have not been able to draw cards at all, which is a little bit frustrating because his, his BCD ranks are not great. You can get a couple dragons here and there, but not, there's no MBD chance. Yeah, no Skull Knight, which are mm -hmm. really the cards that Pi is there for. You can, to note, get a Trent. Trent is on the board in the BCD. Trent, it and the doesn't SAD. exist. Yeah, other than that, Pi's just playing for star chips at that point. Uh, let's throw the hand away. Once again, play for the maybe labyrinth wall block. And this is why generally when we do races of this, so tonight we're doing a little simpler scoring system. It's just whoever got further first wins. Where we try to keep it relatively simple for a newer audience at what's going on here. Uh, I know I like to, with a bunch of my buds that I race with, we'll do a, uh, like a scoring system. I almost imagine like in boxing, there's a max of like, they'll do 12 rounds and then they decide a win. We'll do a point system based on like who you beat in the final six. Every time you beat like the first guy, you get one point. Every time you beat the second guy, you get two more points. The next beat highest and you get five. You beat settle third, you get ten. And then whoever has the most points at the end of X amount of hours would just win. Just to decide a winner because there's a lot of days Egypt does not want to get sick. There's just, there's nothing you're doing about it. You're not going to get an S rank. Why don't you just quit the fight? See, that would be convenient in this game, but you can't just quit a fight. I could have saved a turn. Yeah, there is no option to forfeit, which would be something that would be really, 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 really nice in this game. Yeah. You have to end you turn. like, your forfeit is you just have to start laying down cards and just ramming them into their larger ones and taking deaths. And the unfortunate thing is, uh, during your rental rando challenges, you have a forfeit button, but you can't use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Otherwise, because it's just like yeah. imbalanced in like opposite directions, right? If you could mm -hmm. do that in rental rando, then you could just throw away bad teams. And yep. in this one, you can't do it at all. So you have to sit there and waste time. Like there's no <laughs> middle ground for any of the things that we play. I wish there was. Yeah, it would be nice. But one of the fun parts about Rental Rando, which in the MoMAM schedule, by the way, there is one for Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, one of my favorite parts is when you win with a really bad team. That's really exciting for chat. Oh, absolutely. oh yeah. I find it fun every time I do, because I've only done a handful of Stadium Rental Randos compared to Pi. Every time I've done one, I'm like, oh. Because you get to this point where you're like, okay, there's like 10 good Pokemon. And then you start to learn like, oh, there are others that are actually a lot more viable than I thought they were. Skull Knight? Go. Okay, we got a Skull Knight. That's one good card. Yeah, Spike, I'll have my people call your people, and I'm I'm available for most of the end of this week, so... Hey. End of the weekend. Um, let's... Because uh, Stadium 2 has a really steep learning, learning curve because there's more babies in that one than there is yeah. in Stadium Yeah, they just are actually not viable from what I understand. Yeah. So now we didn't get that immediate god hand first turn like we did against Hyshin this time. I do have a Mega Morph in the hand that I'm just chucking cards. I'm milling cards to try to get to another good hand. Okay, so I can go bada bang, bada boom, bada bang, bada bizzle. I'm only going to use the one Mega Morph because I want to be able to give that Beast Fangs to another card. And now I'm going to try to magic lock him. It's kind of a unique technique where, so I could kill the Gate Guardian. I'm just going to kill the Zoa. But the AI thinks it's ahead right now because it doesn't see your magic card. Now, it can break magic lock. 
that actually very well might be a Mega Morph down there. So. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see here. Bam, 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 bam. I always forget, is it when it's not grayed out? Is it a magic card? Uh, magic cards are the ones that, that he chooses, selects. So if it's grayed out, it's a magic card. If it's not grayed out, it's a trap. Okay, then let me just do this so I can get ahead, yeah. Throw it into the widespread ruin. I forgot which one was which. Okay. So because he actually took that turn to go there, I'm not gonna magic lock him. Because what was gonna happen was I was gonna just let him keep putting out secondary monsters that I was going to kill him with from the uh, from the life point damage. But now that he took a turn to do that, I just put down another card. I shouldn't have given all the cards, it's fine. Uh, it actually kind of worked out with the cards we then drew into. Um, triggering that widespread ruin and then I could go ahead and just kill the gate guardian from there. Are there trap cards in this game? There are lots of trap cards. That is the best one you just saw right there. They're not very creative in the trap cards. They're all just like stop opponent and kill their monster instead. And it's just progressively stronger versions of that. Widespread Ruin does that any monster that attacks, they will die. It was the same with the invisible wire I used early on in the game to get the two Megamorphs on the S rank Pegasus. Um, where uh, S rank on Pegasus, where that worked, but only if the monster had less than 2,000 attack points. So I knew on Campaign Pegasus, I had a pretty good chance of being able to get one of those. He has a lot of just like 1,800, 1,850 monsters. And that allowed me to up my rank in the duel enough to get into that SA rank back in the first hour of the race. So it looks like we're just past three hours whenever we want to take a pause. I'm I'm about to face Seto third for the second time. You should just go until that run spike ends, I think. I don't know if that's okay, but that's my personal opinion. I don't know what, what he thinks. Ow. Say that again? Can he finish his run? Yeah. And then take the break if we need to take it. Right, just oh. we just went past the three hour mark, so I wasn't sure. If, if we were you if you break. need one, we can take one. Okay, yeah. we'll 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 let this attempt go, like Pi said. Like I said, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I don't Okay. But you know what yeah. if one of you I know we're here in the fourth what? quarter now. So All right, all right. We'll take oh, one. Oh, but this one one's got down, a full three heads though. Okay. Boy, my deck gets scared as soon as three heads are on the field and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah that is just... Magician now. All right, we're filling out the deck with good cards. The game was nice enough to let us get past Beto third without seeing a Blue Eyes ultimate. Yeah, See, well... And now the problem is, even if I read Raigeki the next turn, he has to power down to Black Skull Dragon. Yeah, it's going to be a GG. So I guess we'll take a break then, Spike. Uh, before yeah, the yeah, we're going to take. We can take a break now. All right, all right. We'll wait. We'll wait. Just give me. Let me know, Pi. Are you going to be in an okay spot for that? Yeah, I'm. I'm just on the duel right now. I paused. Okay. So Spike, count down when you're when you're done here, and we'll go into a quick break. Okay. And three, two, one. Pause. All right, folks, real quickly before our break, remember that your subs, gift subs, Amazon Prime subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support our weekly hotfix content. Thank you so much for supporting our shows. And if you've missed any of the runs from AGDQ 2021 online or want to watch any previous hotfix shows, you can go to youtube.com slash games done quick and check out an archive of our live shows. And with that, everyone get up, stretch. We're getting ready for the fourth quarter here on Random Number Generation. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Random Number Generation. I am joined here by Spike Vegeta and I, Ear Pie, and we are doing Forbidden Memories 5 Card Mod. And this is the home stretch, the fourth quarter. Are y'all ready to go? Let's see if someone saves Egypt tonight. Uh, let's give it a shot. We got a little under an hour left on the clock. Pie, you ready to go? 
I just got back. Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I was Welcome literally putting my headphones on. Pick it up for the fourth quarter. Starting back up in three, two, one, go. And also, I just had Seto third laugh in my face. Well, since since Pi just got back, Spike, why don't you talk about Mo Man Six this time? Dude, absolutely. So you guys, we are lucky enough that our good friend Sky Bills with her different shows this week, including uh, tonight, Random Number Generator and Mercy Kill, featuring myself and I Ate Your Pie in two of our five games on the road to Mo Man. Uh, we're racing just a couple different games, building up to our main course, the main event of the year for both of our channels, the month of Mushrooms and Mayhem. Uh, it's the sixth year that we've been doing it. We've raced tons of different games over the last number of years. Go check out our past VODs and everything we've got on our YouTube channels and whatnot. And uh, we just race and do different challenge runs and stuff against each other every single day of the month. We've had so many crazy good memories, like stuff from the Mario parties, different Zelda games, Mario Kart games, uh, Super Mario RPG low level, stuff that's not Mario. We do that as well. Um, like PlayStation games and whatnot, we're featuring stuff like SpongeBob this year. God, these hands are really good if I wasn't facing the first ad. Um, if you guys want to check it out, we're starting on March 1st. And most importantly, if you want to get a bracket to try to predict which of us is going to win each different game throughout the month, put in the command for uh, uh, RNG. I have so many different, like, three letter things I have to remember the numbers for. So I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Um, Check, uh, put in for random number generator, RNG, you can get into a bracket and predict who you think is going to win each of those days. Whoever predicts all of the days the best out of anyone, out of over, I believe, 3,500 or so brackets as of tonight, then you will win the Ultimate Gamer Package, the PlayStation 5, the uh, Nintendo Switch, the Xbox Series X, any six games for those consoles of your choice provided by us. And, of course, the $69 gift card to Taco Bell. Because no, <coughs> excuse me, no gamer package is complete without $69 worth of Taco Bell. Think of all the Baja Blasts you could do with that. So, it's completely free to enter it, guys. Just, you know, go in there. If nothing else, you know nothing about either one of us. Just throw darts, and you'll see, you know, maybe you'll get lucky, and you'll get to, uh, you know, own all those awesome consoles and just be, like, set for gaming for the next, like, five years. I think most people are after the tacos, Spike. Dude, the tacos sound like... I'm excited to see it. the person who gets the, the victory. Like, all their, like all the consoles are just, like, sitting in boxes for a few months. But that Taco Bell gift card right away coming out. <laughs> I'm going to oh, need, like, six man. Baja Blasts. Everyone in chat, post your favorite fast food-based item. I want to know. Post in the chat. From Chipotle, Bob. Has to be cold, though. Gotta <laughs> be cold. Ice cold burrito. It's basically a popsicle from Chipotle. It is taco. Yeah, my wife and I, we had taco. We had tacos today for the Tuesday ceremony. It was great. I had like three tacos in between my stream, getting set up for this one. I'm probably going to eat like two more. I think it's going to be great. Delicious. Where are signups? Again, put in the command, just exclamation point uh, RNG. And that should have the info and the links you need right there. You also just check out the schedule, see what all we got coming up. Lots of really, really fun games coming down the pipeline. I draw like a god on the first guy. Who's here to the second guy? Nothing. The minute potato tacos become available, I'm going. Yeah. Dude, I was so sad when I heard they got rid of the potatoes. I was like, what? <laughs> Unironically, the potatoes were the best thing at Taco Bell. Baja Blast, excuse me? <laughs> okay, of the food item. Yeah. The, their breakfast menu was just not as good as the potatoes. I, I never, I feel like I never do fast food uh, breakfast items. Taco Bell was just really good food. considering it's fast food. Oh, right. That's what I'll say. Popeye's taco, spicy chicken. The best time to eat Taco Bell is at like 
one or two in the morning after you've had a super long scrum. Like, hands down, the best time to eat tacos. Oh, yeah, you make that trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we got one, like, five minutes from us, and every now and then it'll be, like, a weekend. It'll be, like, 2 a.m. I was like, you want to go get some tacos? I'm like, heck, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, let's go, dude. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I'm going to say it. Baja Blast is overrated. Wow. Oh, but what? Are you wow. kidding me? That's like the See? only soda I like. Seriously? See? This is what I mean. This is what I mean. You How can you trust anybody when they say things like that? But first the ketchup and the potatoes and now this. What are we going to do with him? No, no, no. That was no, a no, lie. No, no, was... no, no. I was reading a message. Somebody said it. No, I thought you I know. said I was that. Like, oh, wait, no. Without context. Why I have been praying. I was reading no. the message. I was... No. <laughs> I love the Baja Blast. It sounded like oh, you did. No, I would never betray the Baja. I, I listen. <laughs> Me and Baja go way back, okay? Yeah. We go and way someone back. Who does not. Enjoy. I love Baja Blast. Is the best thing about Taco Bell. Okay, As someone right, who does not enjoy. Uh, I have a question for Mountain. chat. I have yeah. a question for chat. Uh, Mountain Dew just came out with this new watermelon Mountain Dew. I tried it last night. Wasn't that bad? I've heard a lot of some people like it, some people don't. Different opinions. I has anyone in the chat tried the new Mountain Dew? It's like Major Melon or something like that. I thought it was fine. I think the next the next um, Mountain Dew that I really like, I don't know if you ever had, it came at the gas stations at the 7-Elevens. It was all like a red Mountain Dew. It was like tropical or something. Like, it was really good. Ah, I haven't tried it out. Again, I hate base Mountain Dew. I think it's nasty. But base Mountain Dew? Well, yeah, base Mountain Dew. Nasty. Code Red, never liked it. I probably hate it a little less. Baja Blast, legitimately very good. Yes, it's so good. I like the Mountain Dew Zero that came out. I thought that was pretty good, too. I, I just can't never get AS rings, up. man. Oh, that Rip. sucks. It's hard because, yeah, you have because you don't need equips to get mm -hmm. AS ranks on him. No, you just need the, you know, he, he doesn't dragons. put up a shield. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not even getting bad shield. Like, I just can't pull twin headed on the first fight. OK, finally. I, I mean, I, I have a Skull Knight now in my deck, so, like, I'm, Ooh, it's, it shouldn't good. be that hard. That's actually really good utility. Oh, yeah, that is actually a good point. So, Pi, someone from your community says, this seems like an excellent time for you to plug your new YouTube content. What is this YouTube content, Pi? Yeah. Can I do that? Am I allowed to? to this, I wasn't sure if I was is, able to please plug. God, this is dude. about you. We've been goal. playing cards for four hours. Please, I, yeah. I, I wasn't sure. I didn't. You know, I thought maybe this was streaming. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I have a YouTube. It's you'll never believe it. It's youtubecom slash I eat your pie, and I'm really excited. I got a, a a YouTube editor that's fantastic, and we are doing my Ironmon playthroughs that I've been going through and doing for the past. I don't know. Uh, we've been doing them for a while now. We've been doing Iron Mon, and those are getting highlighted in small chunks and uploaded to my YouTube. If you're a fan of MoMam and maybe you're not going to be able to watch, all of the MoMam night days are going to be highlighted on there uh, and and put into edit and edited into really fun stuff. And yeah, YouTube is going to be a, a huge thing on my channel now. I'm really excited about it, having a, a confirmed editor for a long time and all of that. So yeah, youtube.com slash I your pie. If you don't know what an Ironmon is, I guess I can mention that. So Ironmon is a, a challenge way of playing Pokemon. Basically what was going on, there's a lot of Nuzlocks out there and I just thought Nuzlocke wasn't hard enough. So I made a challenge that was, I think, harder than Nuzlocke where you can't XP grind off of wilds. You can only use the resources of the trainers that you're bat. So you can only get XP off of trainers. So once you run out of trainers, you're done. If your Pokemon dies very similar to a Nuzlocke, then you have to release it. So just think of basically Nuzlocke on steroids. So I've been chronicling the journey of those 
on my channel. In fact, I'll be streaming that later tonight if anyone's interested. But we'll be, the, the shortened version of those runs are going to be now on YouTube and whatnot, along with, again, moment highlights and different things like that. So it's a lot of fun. It's been wildly popular on my channel. It seems like every day the, the viewership has been growing. People have been telling me it's like some of my best content. So if you like Pokemon and you like challenge runs, uh, give the YouTube a follow. Is that a youtube.com slash I eat your pie? Can put it in YouTube, the I was able to get the original I eat your pie recently. It, it right. somehow became available. So I'll post that for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, and I appreciate if anyone subscribes, it means a ton. Again, been really starting to put more emphasis on some of these things in my channel, and I'm excited to see where it goes. But Have you, you noticed a lot else? of? Have you noticed a lot of other streamers starting to pick up the Iron Mon love? Phil has been playing it. Majin Phil has been playing it. Uh, Numot, who I know Sky knows about, Numot the Nummy, who's a, yep. a very, very popular Magic the Gathering player, did a run today. He loves it. Um, a good friend of mine named Retro Gaijin has been doing it. Uh, oh. It's been picking up a lot. A lot of streams of all shapes and sizes have been, it's been, I've been seeing it slowly spread. Andy has done it. Use Pizza has done it. I'm okay. in soon. I'm going to do it soon. You're going to try it as oh. well. It's funny. Like, yeah. I, I love the Pokemon. Oh, no. I made a terrible mistake. I can't kill that. I love the Pokemon games. And they're, you know, a lot of people talk about how they're a little bit too hard or too easy or whatnot. And so I wanted to create something that was a little bit more difficult while just adding a little bit of some extra flair to it than the, a normal Nuzlocke would give. A little bit of spiciness to it. Oh, That's man. sick. I'm glad you've been so successful off of it. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to lose. I can't believe I'm going to. I had 200 away. I was 200 away. 200 away, man. Well, again, that's that's one of the things that I watch at night the most as well. Like when I go to evaluate stuff for these shows every now and then, I'll just kind of take a look around the internet and see what folks are doing. I think that'd be good content for my shows. So I am working hard to bring quality content to random number generation and mercy kill for y'all. So we get stuff like this. Well, so. I'll, I'll tell you what. Oh, something else I forgot to mention about Nuzlocke. Mm -hmm. You get a uh, 50% level increase on all trainers. So the first fight you do against the rival, which you have to win. If you lose the rival fight, you have to start over, which is where a lot of the, the clips come from, if you will. So every trainer is 50% higher, which means that you're going to need even more XP, which means that XP, you know, you basically only have so much XP that you can pull from. That's a big part of it. If you ever want, I, I would love to do a, I, it's, it's a randomizer. It's randomized Pokemon. I would love to do it on RNG. It'd be a ton of fun. Ton of fun. I think that could be arranged soon, Pies. We'll, we'll step into my office next week. All right, all right. We'll I'll, have a little chit chat. Uh, uh, sounds good, <laughs> sounds good. It'll be after Mo Ma'am though. I have to oh, wait absolutely. until after you're done with all of that. So. Absolutely. We got time though. Man, I can't pull dragon spike. How do you do it? How do you pull dragons? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I break this guy. In my deck to try to try to offset it. Oh, I have so many too, man. This is rough. He needs to go down to B skull dragon to give me a shot. Like a, any of a shot. Oh, I forgot Crush Card Virus was in this game. Oh, oh. I, was hopeful. I saw the moon. That could have been B skull. Oh. So I'm telling reiterate. you, Jack, my deck sees a blue, a blue eyes ultimate and says, oh no, and runs away. Just right. runs off in the distance. We got 44 minutes left on my timer over here. We'll see what yes. the official time is. But my Lanta. Spike Come is on. still in the lead, though. And I believe Pi would have to finish the game in order to beat Spike. If I understand I have to Okay. I mean, if I can just pull an MBD, if we can get one MBD, we legitimately have a shot. It's not a huge shot, but it's at least a dream at this yeah, point. You know? like, exactly. Because the game can keep doing this to me. It can keep not giving me a chance on, like, set of third and whatnot. And that's why you never count anyone out. You never count anyone out in Forbidden Memories. I'm trying. I to get was in a race with right my now. good friend I am Wooden Barrel. Absolutely trying. I was in a good. I was in a race with my good friend Wooden Barrel at one point for one of these five cards we did, and he rolled decks for like two hours. 
and then got a good deck and then ended up beating all of us. Like, you never know. What are these hands? <laughs> what is, what are these hands against the first guy? Oh my God. And then we're <laughs> never gonna see these green cards again come the actual fight. I got a 4,100 on turn one. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Flabbergast. You tell him Flabbergast to chat. I can't see straight. I'm so upset. Double Megamorph on a B-Dragon Jungle King. Dang, I gotta get in on those uh, FM races at some point too. Dude, you shit, they're fun. I'm actually starting to think like four hour might be better than five hour. It's tough because I'm playing I'm playing the one year where I got two Mega Morphs, so I basically got to skip a farm phase. One time, I would like to start Meadow Mage with a dragon and a thunder. One time, please. Hi, Hi what does your file name say? Hi. I know. I just, what does it I say? <laughs> what does it say? Uh, that was not one of the second round. What is going on? If it says Bob, you're not going to get good RNG. We've been oh. through this. There's documentation on this. I will call Exodia Ty percent. This. So it is Money impossible to get Bob all five tonight. Exodia That's what I'm going to do. Every, every, it's going Bob City right now. <laughs> oh, I just want one AS ring so I can feel like I can win. Dude. Come on. I'm just saying, oh. chat, do not feel bad for Bob Pi. Pi did this to himself. You know, there, there's Post. someone watching that's name is Bob, and they're like, you know, I think Pi's an old good guy. He likes Bob. And then, and then he's like, why does everyone else hate Bob? What did I do? <laughs> just, there's a Bob just trying to live their life, man. Just trying to live their life. Can we just, can all of MoMam6 be Bob versus D? Because uh, I feel like we need Bob this time. Bob versus D, baby. <laughs> Neither one are very successful. They've got charisma, baby. Uh, every time Pi picks Bob, I'm just going to be in his chat throughout MoMam6. Pi, this is your fault. Not feeling sorry Hi. for you. You know what you did. Oh man, I'm just gonna lose on purpose at this point. There's no, oh, oh, there's the dragon. After three hey, draws, I finally find see? one. Ah, oh, you just had to have a little heart of the cards. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter, Spike. The AS rank is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. It feels really bad knowing like this is All I'm doing here <laughs> means actually Hey, hey, Spike, are you going to be Bob and DKC tomorrow? You should. You should see what happens. Break the Bob curse, man. And then, Wait, can, and, what, what? can you name your file in DKC? Yes, there's three characters conveniently for that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> We're Bob I'm, tomorrow. Breaking news, everybody, we haven't turned it on the first turn. What could possibly go wrong? Please use Meadow. Please use... Oh, it's so... Or not so... Meadows. So on Mario 64 tomorrow, there's like Mario A, B, C, D. Pi's gotta be B and Spike's gotta be D tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'll <laughs> We usually just mash through the opening thing. We'll have to like have some menuing at the start. I love it. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 All right, we did go over the fight, so of course the Megamorphs ran away. Dude, he's only got THTD. This is Omega easy mode for him. But I can't. Oh, pee pee poo poo. Oh. I have not laughed this hard in such a long time. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh bada bing, bada boom, bada right. bing, bada bizzle. I need some energy, chat. Some good positive energy. I need to get MED on this drop to have a shot. I'm not even Play asking now. for two. Play I'm not even now. asking for two. Play I just want one. Oh. All right. And with that, 
doing? That's a good question, actually. What happens first, Pi? Does Pi uncurse Bob or beats Ultimate Iron Mom? I don't know. That's a great question. Oh, I will never betray Bob. <laughs> Come on. This is an AS rank. Mystical Elf, Zombie Warrior, Zombie Warrior, Wing Trumpeter, Mystical Elf. What? Two of those, but not the one I need. <laughs> We're running out of time, chat. We're running out of time. Yeah, the, the, the clock be a ticking, my dude. Yes, it is. The clock is on Spike's side right now. How does it feel oh, yeah, to I, build the I, clock? I was hoping I was just going to end it an hour early, but instead I'm like, well, I guess I'm just going to try to hold on for an hour. So here's a question. Do we what? get the, the Hail Mary where if as long as you have an I attempt within what? the time yeah. frame, you get it? You get I mean, the Hail Mary. Yeah. Pie. Just you. Yeah, yeah you, you can have it. I'm all right with that. I mean, I feel like I deserve a Hail Mary after double Megamorph A Tech that Spike oh, yeah. Vegeta oh, got over there. I have another comment. Name the rival Bob, you'll win Ultimate Iron Mom. That's true. No, I, I can't. I gotta. I have to trust. I have to trust. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Seto Third, we're one and two versus Seto Third tonight, chat, on the stat tracker. Pi, where did Bob come from? I just, I have to know this lore. It's burning. Uh, literally, I just was, I was running out of things to call my Pokemon, so I just went with generic names. Yeah. We had Bob, we had Jill. Jim. We had Jimbo, we had uh, Anne, we had Mary. <laughs> and Bob just was an easy one that I remembered every time, and it just stuck, you know? <laughs> Like some Pokemon have specific names. Like if we run into anything in the Marie category, that's Jim. That's always Jim. Uh, Blastoise is Baja Blast. You know, you gotta pay respects to the greatest drink of all time. So, you know, it's just, uh, and then obviously the Whale Lord is Stonks. Magmar is Mamgar. Everybody knows that. I mean, if you don't, I don't know what to tell you, but it's, uh, it's always a good time name in Pokemon. This is why you have to, in particular, watch Momam 6. There's so much lore, y'all, and it's the good lore. lore. Is there. <laughs> Mike, that look on your face right now. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Wait, we now have to rush him. So, man, he can talk to a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So, we were talking about all the AI cheats, chat. So, here's the thing. You might think like, oh, my opponent has five cards in his hand. You be wrong. They have 20. They can pull from the top 20 cards of their deck as soon as they need to. Because they cheat. Top 3,500. We got an MBD on the field. I could. All right. Guess, 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 Ooh. guess. Now oh, it's Spike. a free. Now we win. Okay. GG, Spike. Who did you just beat? Nah, I, beat I beat Seto third again. All right. This is it. I'm, I'm rooting for you, Spike. I'm rooting for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And is, my suffering over here. Is, uh, will D get the first victory here? The beginning of a legend. I, 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 to, if someone is able to beat this tonight, that's very impressive that we yeah. had a good run. I just killed a blue eyes, and that is why, chat, I took the turn to just throw the Mega Morph on the first one. If I don't draw that, we lose this game. Because he top decked a blue eyes ultimate dragon, which is. Just extremely unlucky, but we got past it. You know, sometimes it'd be that way. I'm yeah, and that I don't way. think Nightmare 1 in particular is bad. I think this is going to come down to Nightmare 2 again then, Spike. Yep. Nightmare 1 can be really scary if you fall behind. He can, yeah, because he can do a lot of messy stuff with his magic. So oh, that, is it a back row match then mm -hmm. if it gets out of hand? Yes, okay. Oh, That's what's going on. All right. And it, you're, it, not, it, you're definitely not as scared of him. He seems like a big letdown coming off of Seto third, but he can still mess your day up. All right, we are two and two versus Seto third tonight. Where are the dragons? I, I, I've I never seen this like, catalog at pulling dragons, dude. I've never seen it. Spike got, uh, pulled all of Pi's dragons. I, I think he did. I think he stole my <laughs> dragons. Spike, why did you steal my dragons like that? Come but on, man. man. I'm I needed sorry. them. I needed I've got them. Like, I've got like 17, 18 dragons. It's ridiculous. Oh, Bob, Bob just God. can't pull dragons. I mean, I guess that's the weakness there. 
They don't exist. I, you can't tell me a dragons exist in this game right now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They're not there. I have to admit, though, the first time I saw this cutscene that Spike's on, I got great satisfaction out of watching Haishin just get owned here. Right. Maybe. This. <laughs> oh my God, it's brutal. Haishin had it coming. All right, chat, we got a little over 30 minutes left on the clock. This might be my last, like, really good shot at trying to get this one. Then a third is only going to give you so many op so many opportunities past him. As you saw, I had to get lucky there to get past that one. So no dragon types can we name Bob? No, I will name literally anything Bob is what I understand. Um, it was all-encompassing. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to... I might do a scouting report this turn. Yeah, oh, let's do a scouting report. Those. Oh, well, look at that. There's another thunder. Cool. But you needed dragons. Yeah, I mean, I have dragons. They're just not Open showing no up. Open no MBB. Okay, he's playing Cosmo Queen. Okay. That's a good start for you, Spike. That's good. That's good. Well, look at that. It's a dragon and a thunder card. Oh my goodness. We might get an AS rank chat room. Hold the phone. Wait one <laughs> second. And I'll definitely go for the moon players. That'll also give me a guardian star advantage. Mm -hmm. And that's all they, all they said. All right. So we need him to not power up because MBD still gets over the top of me. So I need to not see a top deck MBD. Okay, he's playing another Cosmo Queen, it looks like. Um, so. Blap, 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 blap. Okay, mainly just trying to mill my deck so that in the event he does top deck an MBD, I'm closer to my Raigeki or my Mega Morphs. Again, the opening moon play on Twin Headed Thunder Dragon is actually a really good play when you that when all you've got in your hand is a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon in your opening hand. I like to go for that. It's won it for me a couple times. Okay, so he powered down, so we might just have this one this turn. Nice. I can't wait. Yeah, that that's gonna be like a launcher spider or something. Can't yeah, wait to get out. the MBD as Spike is finishing. That's going to be fantastic. I'm that would be great. It. A big pod. All right, y'all. Right. One more. Can Spike do it? We're 0 and 1 versus Nightmare tonight. Yo, we got the right hand, the right arm of the Forbidden One. We got a fifth of an Exodia. Another Dark Magician, man. Ugh. Oh, boo, 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 bee. One more game, Spike. All right. Come on, What's man. Give me a good opening hand. Give me a good opening hand. That's okay. I've got to make it more. Throw the rest of the baby monsters. Oh, God. No thunders, though. Come on, Spike. Yeah, no thunders. There's eight of those in the deck. There's nine of those in the deck. All right. We've done poor thing here. Chat is no three heads. No three heads. No three heads. I don't want to see sun. That is a, okay, this is good. Gate Guardian, this is good. This Ooh, is good. Got this. All right, come on, Spike. Okay, okay. Uh, we're just chucking it out. We're not taking a turn with that. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right, we get over the top of the Gate Guardian. He needs to give us like two turns of no top decking his ultimate. Okay, no three heads. That's probably another gate guardian. Uh, I'm holding the guy, the, the Raigeki, the Raigeki in my back. Raigeki is good though. Very good. Yeah, that's still, that's still big pog. Seeing that right there. Yeah, fake another one to support and actually get a beat down with. We need one more turn. We need one more lack of three heads.
One more turn. Yep. Come on. If he does top deck an ultimate, he'll go for my big boy. I can Geki and keep the 3,300 on the field. Yeah, he, okay, MBD, we got, well, we don't got this, got this. Oh, wait, or do we, no, not quite. One more turn. Yeah, we need one more turn. Going top okay. deck the ultimate. Don't say that by, no. 21, 21, 21. That's gonna be an, uh, he's gonna have 2,500 left over. Well, no, a little more or a little less than that. Yeah, 2,200, that's awkward. If but you he, have Regeki, like, that should right, do Right, but like, if he kills it, then I won't be able to get the win next turn. Okay, okay, we got this, chat. We got yes! this. Yes! Everybody Let's, get your hey, GG's hey, out. Megamorph, you know what? Bean Daddy's getting Megamorph. Let's go, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bean Daddy's getting beefed. Would he die yet? He would poorly. I was gonna say, don't do that. <laughs> Bean Daddy with the W, it'll be time in about three, two, one. GG. Congrats. GG. Buddy. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Hey. Is that a PV for you, Spike? Oh, I should probably stop the time. That was like almost 333 32. Is that a PB and five card? Yeah. Probably. Well, congrats. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes. That's right, Dad. <laughs> we PB in a marathon. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we PB in a gosh darn marathon. Let's go. Wow. How was your farm pie? Uh, well, it was going great, and then a shield showed up, and now I'm not getting an AS rank. That's how my day's going. <laughs> how many times would you say you AS ranked him in that hour? Not many. We were not pulling dragons very often. <laughs> like, eight or nine, maybe, which should be way more. Yeah, no, in the time you were there, that's a, that is horrendously unlucky. But that is how this game goes, chat. It's actually generally not how this game goes. The game would have gone where both of us would have been crying after four hours and made no progress. The campaign double Megamorph kind of sealed the victory right there. Over by, it was still like a game to see if the game was going to let me win at all. But you can see awesome, high energy, fun, and at times chill races going on in moment. I just want to bring up the schedule again real quick. Again, you guys can put in the command for RNG. You guys can uh, fill out a bracket of your own to decide who you think is going to be able to win all the different days of the month of Mushrooms and Mayhem 6. Let's go check out, see what some of these, uh, see, what, see what's going on in the schedule here. I'm just going to point out a few of my favorite games. We'll be starting these on March 1st. Again, kick it off with Mario Party 3, a staple of the event. Pikmin 3, another staple we actually like doing the Pikmins. A lot of other cool stuff. Some cool 3D platformers there like Ape Escape, SpongeBob. If you guys liked Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, the sequel to this technically will be done. And then lots of other really, really cool stuff throughout the month. Mario Kart, Team Night, 3D World. We're going to do Bowser's Fury. Pi and I have not played that. We're going to play it for the first time in Momium. And it's all going to end with Pokemon Stadium 2 Rental Rando. But before we even get there tomorrow, we've got another game for you guys here on the GDQ stage. We're going to be playing... Super Mario 64, a mercy kill. Neither of us have touched that game in a while. I remember when we thought 2020 was the year of Mario 64, but here we are. <laughs> ready to play it for the first time in forever. That's the point of the show, Spike. If you had played it recently, we can't we do wouldn't, it We wouldn't have been on. <laughs> so, um, Pi, are you going to do your, your Hail Mary attempt here? No, we don't no. have cards. We don't have, if I had an MBD maybe, but we have no cards right now. Okay. Just figured I'd give you the opportunity just in case. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good. You're good? <laughs> All right. So while Pi is just kind of playing around here, um, any last minute announcements, shout outs, anything that folks should know? I mean, tomorrow we'll be back here 7 Eastern. 
to do Mercy Hill, SM64, Donkey Kong Country, and then immediately after that, we have an episode of Never Before Soon, which is going to be sweet. It's going to have uh, Valkyria Chronicles and The Magic of Shirzad. So if you haven't seen any of those, that's going to be awesome for Never Before Seen. So uh, anything else about Momim? Anything else y'all want to cover before we sign off for the evening? <coughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I think we covered it a lot. It's going to be a fun month. Yeah. Thanks Here's the one us. thing. Did we ever talk about the merch? No. No. Go for it. Go get merch here. I was going to stand up on the thing right here. Stand on my webcam. You get merch. Look at all this super cool Moman 6 art that was made for us. You can get these in hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, hats, uh, so many masks you can get them for now. Tons of merch. You can also follow that from that stream big site that is linked with RNG in there. Go check those out. Get your merch. Get nice and comfy here. Settle down. Watch some Momam starting here on March 1st. Should be a blast, everyone. I eat your pie and myself throwing down our sixth year of the annual event. But yeah, that's all the only thing I had to throw in. Four hours. We almost forgot to talk about the merch. All right. <laughs> Hi, what about you? Anything else you want to mention? Go Bob. Bob is, oh, no, no. is going to be my rallying cry in MoMan this year. <laughs> no. no matter what happens, I'm, I'm, I'm believing in Bob. Well, I have one more announcement also before we go. So I'd like to preview the next episode if we have a plan. And we do have a plan. So in two weeks for Random Number Generation, we will be having Super Mario World Randomizer. Did you know Mario Day is coming up? That is going to be my Mario-themed week. Random Number Ooh. Generation that week will have SMW Random featuring Amethyst Rocks. It's going to be fun. And then the next day, we are going to be having Mercy Kill for that week off. Author Blues, you, you may have heard us pick on him the whole time, but yes, he'll be here along with Tina Hacks from Tina's RPG show, I guess. We're doing another crossover episode for Mario Day with a 96 exit rust race where those two are going to talk smack the whole time. So that's what we got coming up during Mario Week here on Random Number Generation and on Mercy Kill. But tomorrow, hi, Spike, we're going to be back for Momam 6 content SM64 120 star, Donkey Kong Country, any percent all stages for Spike Vegeta. That is going to be hype and exciting. But until then, folks, I'm Sky Bills for GDQ Hotfix. We will see you tomorrow for Mercy Kill, and we'll see you in two weeks for random number generation. Take care, y'all.